Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a nighttime stream. How are we doing, everybody? Ah, good to see you. Good to see you, everybody. Thursday night, yes. Today's a good day. A lot done today. I don't know about you, but it's been a very productive day for you, boy. Had excellent times today, JM. It's great to see you over on Kick. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're going to start doing those again as long as my voice can do it. You know what I'm saying? So thank you very much. We have uh, some things to tell you before we dive in. We got John coming over to Patreon, literally going into the Patreon, even though we are not uh, we were not live earlier, literally during the day, absolutely just joining the Patreon, even when nobody is asking him to. That's fantastic. John, welcome into the Inner Sanctum. God bless you. Thank you for being here. That's fantastic. We also have Anima with a follow and Rye check, of course. Absolutely. Tier one. Out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For five months. Five months? Five months, Rye check. Incredible stuff. Absolutely amazing. We also got Mandu with a sub on YouTube. A crap ton of offline follows. God bless. Welcome in. It's good to have y'all. I, uh, speaking of being very productive, I may or may not be on belt right now because I have an idea for the start of this stream, okay? And I wanted to make sure that we got, y'all were really fond of the down the rabbit hole reacts that we were doing. So we're gonna start the stream with those actually. We're gonna, we're gonna do that at the start of the stream right now. We're gonna do it for just a little bit. We're not gonna have it be like super long like it was for last stream. We're gonna give people time to trickle in because we've got uh, a brand new Proteus fit to test for y'all today. We're gonna be doing some wormhole dives and I'm very excited to showcase that to y'all. So we're gonna do that. And, I, and I'm literally, literally as we speak, on the, uh, I'm just, I'm just mining to the heart's content right now into the old Mackinac. Just, just, just high sec mining it. Nothing crazy. Trying to get the densest Veldspar that I can. So welcome in everybody. It's great to see you, Jack. Welcome in, Zarquan Waffles. Welcome in. Don't kill the dealer. How are we doing? Yes. The elusive Thursday night stream. Yes, Laravi. It's great. Just say you, oh sevens, Richard oh sevens plural. How are we doing? Let's go, boys. How are we doing, Bruno? Stomabs. Great to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. So, how are we doing, Slavic? Yes, glad y'all were liking the tombs there before. Octane, welcome in. Great to see you. Ride Jack on all the platforms every time. Always great to have you. Thank you very much. I do love the intro song, Don't Kill. Thank you for that. Da beat do beyond, Slavic. Thank you for that. Just watch the skill extractor bit. Yes. The perfect segue, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some stuff for you. Okay, we'll talk about the Patreon in just a sec. This is a massive skill extractor sale going on right now. Okay, over on Marquee site, literally two for one. And I've got something, a two for one deal. And I've got something special for you. Okay, don't just buy these. Do not. Many of you just heard that and were like, oh, I gotta go buzz. Do not just buy these. Okay, don't, don't do that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go watch our brand new, literally, literally just came out skill extractor video. I'm making sure I'm not dying here. Thank you kindly. Literally just came out skill extractor video. I'm going to link it in chat for all of you. Let me go back to the YouTube page because this will be easier to see. Next song, please. Thank you. It's we break down exactly how to use skill extractors in this video, how to get them cheap, and even when they're not on sale, how to use them. And we even show you how to make skill extractor farming alts that completely marry with the PI guide that we just put out. And y'all are loving that Peon Guide. It's one of our better videos in recent memory. So it's going to be great stuff. Definitely. I'm glad you did, JM, because Skill Extractor is one of those items that if you buy and try out, you're probably not doing it right because they're not so obvious with how they're used, you know? So definitely easy peasy. No worries there. Y'all, while we're, while we're doing this, if you could be so kind as to go like and or retweet the going live tweet, we don't do live tweets. We are live in the tweet. So if y'all can go check that out. Hi, X. Hi, Twitter. It's good to see you. It really does help. It really does help. So Hypernet is going to be something that we do a video on for sure. Will. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Can have to keep descanning to make sure stuff's going. So so chat right now, the sale on Marquee site, huge. Literally market breaking. Like go, go watch our skill extractor video that we were just talking about because the market is in shambles today because of this. And you can capitalize on it. Okay, always remember, use my code, code LORU, at checkout. You'll get it for cheaper. That's how that goes. Chat, the Patreon as well continues to go. And you know that this weekend is our April Subathon, baby! It's gonna be fantastic! The Frigate Free-For-All is this weekend. 
and we're going to participate in the frigate free for all and we're going to be invading it i'm being invaded they'll be invaded there's going to be much invasions happening this saturday and the patrons are going to get first look at what's coming in so if you want to support the brand patreon's the number one place to do it we are like teetering around 80 members we're continuing to get more free members every day yes you can join the patreon for free okay you join it for free. It's a simple button click. You get a bunch of news and all the goodies, all that good stuff coming in. I'm excited for what the patrons got coming, including the new Battleship mug, y'all. The new Kronos sieged up Battleship mug looking real nice. We show a full picture over on Patreon, so go to go check that out. It's very excellent stuff. We're going to give people yeah, some really time to get in today. We're going to show people the new Proteus fit today. We're going to be mining just a little bit of high sick mining here. No, nothing crazy. Just a little bit of goodies while we uh, check out some down the rabbit hole stuff. So, yeah, Quark skill extractors are one of those things that un until you know how to use them, you're kind of like, yeah, whatever. You just kind of carry on. But once you know about them, you really start going, I can make money with this. This could be a thing. It ends up becoming something that you can really utilize a lot. Rabbun, it's good to see absolutely Twitch primed out of your mind. Yeah, yeah. For two months. Thank you for that, Rabbun. It's great to see you. Great to have you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's pause this really, really quick. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to this. And we're actually... <sighs> <sighs> I hate when there's two of me, chat. I don't like when there's two of me. I don't like it. And we're going to start down the rabbit hole, y'all. So let me get this queued up. Headphone warning. Headphone warning. Headphone warning. Okay. Okay. Just give it a sec. Porters within the okay. So we, we have it started. Final headphone warning, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to try to fit this in to the mining. Right, I want to. I want to be that Eve player, ladies and gentlemen. So let's maybe get local, like right here. This is like the most Eve online I've ever done in my life, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna keep an eye on local. We're gonna keep an eye on our uh, miners, and we're gonna. Is this gonna be good? This is not gonna be good. So we're actually gonna scrap that because I'm looking at the production. It's just not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dock this up. I was thinking, hey, maybe we can mine while we're doing that, but. It's just not going to look good for the actual YouTube video itself. So maybe we can figure out how to do that a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? So I'll just, I'll, I'll dock this bad boy up and then we'll call it a day on that. Let me make my local chat a little bit larger so I can read stuff later. And we don't, you know, we don't even care about that right now. So ladies and gentlemen, let's wait for some people to come in while we watch... We're going to start today's stream by checking out section nine of Down the Rabbit Hole. Last time we did a bunch of goodies. Y'all have been really enjoying those videos. and We're going to keep watching these. So headphone warning. Headphone warning. The Chrome videos can be a little bit loud. So let's check this out. Let's get it done. Let's do this. Yes, my ship is docking. I will not be stopped. Section nine. As down the, wars in the rabbit hole raged and okay. Eve's player base grew, reporters within the gaming industry were beginning to take notice. Consistently, stories of battles with dozens, if not hundreds, of players were beginning to leak out into gaming forums and early social media websites. Those hearing about such battles might have acknowledged mentions of the struggles with lag and server instability, with which fleet commanders constantly had to contend, but such complaints were Great quickly you, forgotten when the scale of certain battles was shared. Fleet commanders had learned not to take such large fights unless absolutely necessary due to the chaos introduced by such numbers, but their rarity only made them more tantalizing. What's more, these battles were given context due to the persistent state of the game, with corporations and alliances. I cannot get over seeing the game looking like this. Look at this overview, okay? This was, I mean, this is a big battle. You can see the various battleships and battle cruisers. I think that's a keep star in the distance, whatever, a Fortizar, whatever the hell, you know, there's a Moros or something. This was a big battle back there. Look at it, but look at the overview. <laughs> it's how far we've come. Volume up, please. You got it. This is got it. power, territory, and wealth in a constantly evolving drama. To many, it felt like a space opera Turned playing out in real time. In early 2000... Everybody say hi to YouTube. So hi to YouTube. It's going on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Date, one of the first articles detailing the ongoing Nullsec War was published for PC Gamer UK. The author, Jim Rossignol, opened by writing, quote, There's a war going on. It's one of the most bitterly contested conflicts imaginable, fought over many months by an international cast of veteran warriors. An entire galaxy is at stake. 
You probably even know someone who is caught up in it, fighting for his life and those of his comrades. As many as 20,000 people have fought in its battles. This war is the Great War of EVE Online, the largest virtual conflict ever waged. Unlike the- That's not something we can gloss over. At, at the time, the largest virtual conflict ever waged. Now, there have been other games that have been bigger than EVE Online, but one of the reasons that I play EVE is because of stuff like this. It's because when you really kind of sit back and look at the history of it, you know, EVE is continuing to be a pioneer in the space, no matter what we're talking about, okay? This is exactly what makes EVE one of the greatest games ever made, in my opinion, is the scope of it. 20,000 people? 20,000. You know, I don't know how to, like, conceptualize that. And they're all, uh, God bless the time dilation, you know? <laughs> it's, it's just nuts. This is what makes EVE so incredible. It really is. The 20-minute conflicts that characterize other multiplayer games, this is a deathmatch that has taken place between fleets of hundreds in a continuous process that has lasted years. It is the greatest imaginary conflict yet conducted, and in what follows, I'll be tracing its glories and mapping its horrors. End quote. This sort of romantic prose would quickly come to characterize most of the writing about New Eden, and while they- I didn't get a chance to eat dinner, I will not apologize. I'm enjoying this. And I'm really glad that y'all are here, okay? They occasionally would acknowledge the more technical and practical issues that players and their leaders faced. These passages were nearly always diminished in favor of telling stories of epic campaigns and pitched battles. The results and aims of these large battles, however, were difficult to communicate due to the inherently intricate nature of the game's mechanics. What could easily be communicated, however, was sovereignty. Territorial maps reminiscent of war documentaries gave the impression that the warriors in it's one of the biggest problems with Eve. Okay. That's right, Rabban. It's one of the biggest problems with Eve is that it's hard if you show somebody playing War to Warcraft or Counter Strike or Rainbow Six Siege, you're going to be able to know what's going on, even if you don't know the game, because there isn't like a lot of little graphs and stuff. It's, it's, a Eve is a Navy combat sim. There's information on the screen that is basically jargon to the everyman, you know. But this, lines on a map, a map that shows, you know, Goon Swarm pushed into this area, and then they lost territory to that, and they did this, you know what I'm saying? This, this makes sense to people. This is something you can show people and get it done, you know? Involved in these conflicts were actively making history and granted the movements of these wars similar weight. But perhaps more immediately attractive was the attempt to give a price to ships in real-world fiat currency. Partway through his article, Rossignol writes a relatively short passage about the loss of Steve the Titan. Quote, It's not hard to see why Band of Brothers would want to attack the biggest alliance in the game. The riches were there for the taking, and the alliance leader, one Cyvok, piloted the first and then only Titan-class ship in the game. It was a giant behemoth that has been valued in real-world cash at around 4,000 British pounds. Band of That is a good way to contextualize it. It is. It really is. It's it's very clickbaity because obviously they didn't spend money to get the Titan. You know, but it's at the same time, it's not true. It's more of what a boss I don't like called the marketing number. These are the kind of marketers that would not this guy, not this author. He's using it because it was the first time. I would not describe Eve battles based on their dollar or pound amount to another Eve player, but to the everyman, again, this makes sense to the everyman, where, to the non-Eve player, where it's like, well, why is the Titan such a big deal? But like, oh, it's the size of a moon. It takes you years to play, to get into, excuse me, and an estimated, oh, it's an estimated $4,000 for one ship. People are like, oh, you know, like, oh my God, like, that's amazing. So my Kronos costs about 30 bucks. <laughs> There you go. Plural, plural kumquats like, what do you mean? My, my Kronos cost me $30. <laughs> Point is like, it makes sense to describe it like this. And this is the first time that this had happened in the press where people have been describing Eve ships as dollars. Makes sense to me. So looks like the borders and the launch Solaris. Yeah, similar, similar. The maps were uh, similar back in the day. Exactly. For sure. Yeah, yeah brothers seized the first titan kill in controversial circumstances and sealed the fate of ascendant frontier end quote 
This passing attempt at an approximation of price would become a tradition in coverage of the game. The daunting complexity of EVE's mechanics and the tangle of relationships between corporations, alliances, and even corporations within alliances. Are those tracking disruptors? We got cat batteries, drone augments. This is a, a battle cruiser, right? This is a Mar. It's tanked out of the gills, bro. We got active, we got hardeners, we got plates, and tracking disruptors. These poor people. It would fight this ship. Oh my goodness, dude. ...made it nearly impossible to summarize in the space afforded an article in a gaming publication, meaning that the conflicts necessarily had to be simplified in order to both be made intelligible and Oh my god, I got bamboozled. That was a curse looking at this ship. This is a curse because the curse has the weapon disruptors. Okay. Literally bamboozled me. Right. I was like, why would a harbinger... We use and track. Thank you, you and me, Rabban. Like, why were the curse? It was the curse with the track and I got bamboozled. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I bought a character from 2008 and looked through the fits and found some gems, like a quad plated dual large shield extender typhoon. Ugh, just just a just a rock <laughs> floating through space. That's amazing. So, thank you very much, Josh. God bless you. Thank you. Hey, Josh, welcome in. We're gonna watch this video. You're more than welcome to hang out with the community, Josh. Good to see you. Bam to Boozle Bush. It's good to see you. Bush Kitty, welcome in. How are we doing? It's good to see it. And concise enough to fit within the restrictive word limits. Many of those who read these articles became enamored with the concept of partaking in such massive record-breaking battles and began signing up for EVE themselves. For CCP, war was good for business. But those who were fighting the war were facing unprecedented problems. Nate Combs, in a blog from 2007 titled NBSI and the Grey Problem, writes that, quote, Members within an alliance are marked by varying colors. Green means that fellow is a corporation member, blue he's part of the alliance, etc. Degrees of separation, even among buddies. Red in several flavors distinguishes shades of bad guy. The problem is with the gray. One of the trickiest herding cats problem in running alliances is making sure everyone is on the same page about the rules of engagement. Go to any alliance forum and ask what the current rules are and you will hear a number of answers. Folks get confused about what they should do with the Grey, and in the absence of knowing what they should do, they do what they think is right, which can be all over the board. Inconsistency is a hobgoblin to both sides of the Grey divide. The good Grey don't like going into areas where they are uncertain about who is on the same page, and alliances don't like Greys getting into some areas since some Greys may turn out to be bad apples. To Look, it's really the same. It's really this easy. If you're in a big alliance, you're in an alliance that big, just shoot the Greys. You shoot them. You don't know if somebody made an alt and skill extractor, by the way, yes, the skill extractor sale today is huge. I would literally get in on that, not just in dollars. If you don't have the dollars, go buy skill extractors for ISK, hold them for two months and then sell them for a profit. It's stupid how good they are right now. So yes, they're literally market ending stuff right now. You know, this is not a problem. Okay, here's why it's not a problem. If you're in a big alliance like Goonswarm or Band of Brothers or whatever the heck like back then, right? And and you're at war. Subterfuge, which we've already seen is a key feature inside of EVE Online with the guiding hand, with spying, with all this stuff. If you see a gray that is somebody that's not in your corp or and not in your alliance, you just shoot them. And you can say good grays. There's no such thing when you're at war. And if people don't like that, that's war. It forces you to like choose a side, you know? So if you have a good, I don't like this phrase, good gray. Like if my buddy, my friend is not in my alliance and I'm like, oh, come into null. Well, we'll get some rad and going and they get popped. That's my fault for inviting them in because they're, they can join the alliance. They can join the corp. And if they get denied because of skill points or whatever, then you just can't play with your buddy. It ends up being about the needs of the group over the needs of the individual. And this reads like the needs of the individual, especially when there's war. If it's peacetime, if there's like whatever, yeah, there's going to be some blurry lines. Yeah, just play with your buddy, whatever. Who cares? Because we don't know who's a spy. We have no idea. So any alliance in Null considers Newt's Grey hostile. It, when I filament into Null, people hunt me down. Not just because I'm a streamer, but because I'm a Grey. This is correct. And to be fair, I'm in like a Proteus, literally trying to kill their spinning Ishtars. So, you know, of course, if it ain't blue, it dies. Simple as that. Well, I was correct, you know? So if the ship costs dollars and they're describing it in dollars, why do we say it makes sense? 
Wouldn't it be better to say it makes dollars? See, Stom Abs, you're just too smart for this. You know what I'm saying? So amazing. So mm. it is a type of drones, plural. Hobgoblin is a is a type of drones. Yes. So like, my my he's gonna keep talking about this. The pe they mention traders here, who travel great distances. Why Eve is so hilarious is because you will literally have weapons like Lord of War style. You have to have a relationship with the no blocks if you're going to go sell with the no blocks. If you are gray to the no blocks and you have like a shipment of, I don't know, uh, you know, a bunch of battleships to give and sell, like sell your wares, you're not going to be able to go deep into null territory. Time to go into into low to like a free port and sell your stuff there unless you have a relationship with the alliances. This is, again, that proof of the, of the friendship machine that uh, Helmar of uh, that Helmar talks about, where the toughness of the game forces people into groups forces relationships not in like a toxic way but in a way that's like look if i have a bunch of stuff to sell if i have wares to sell if i'm a trader and i want to go sell stuff to a no block i can't just walk into a no block and start selling stuff i will get killed they'll take my stuff and they'll kill my pod that's a good thing that's an interesting thing that's something that doesn't happen in a lot of other mmos so it's one of those um Call it systems that diversifies EVE Online. When I found out that in World of Warcraft, the Alliance can talk to Horde and the Horde can talk to the Alliance, it made me sad because there was so much uh, character to the game built around that, right? And it's sort of like that where if there's an enemy, you're not trading with them. You're not conversing with them. They have a different complete culture. Their, their acronyms are different. You know, everything down to the minutia is different. So you have to have relationships with people. There has to be politics in order to sell stuff in EVE. And if you don't, I understand this. I, I, I get it. But the gray, good grays, there's no such thing. Bad grays, they're all bad grays. You know, I understand this. But at the end of the day, especially when there's a war going on in the game, and we're talking about tens of thousands of people, if you don't have a relationship with an, with an alliance and you want to play with somebody in that alliance, your buddy can leave the alliance or you can join, and that's kind of it, you know? So it would, uh, it would be cool to have a market ship that could bastion and act like a stand-up market. That's a really good idea, dude. That's actually one of the better ideas I've ever seen, Rabon, and I'm not hyperbolized. That's really awesome. Something that could, like, hey, I'm a market— Come by my wares. That's really sick. That's really sick. Like a ship in space, purely for trade. That isn't a hauler. You know, it's a hauler meant to like set up shop, you know, and then you could like defend it. You know, Ooh. see, Rabon, that's really cool, bro. That's a great idea. Goodness gracious. You can make insane isk by ordering out of no box and, f and flipping. See, Waffle, this kind of stuff makes its own... Uh, opportunities, okay? You can buy stuff at the market in Jitta or Heck or all those other places, craft them, sell it to the null blocks for cheaper or vice versa. Maybe the null blocks are like, hey, like you see these all the time. Hey, we have, uh, we, we need a bulk order of a thousand uh, coveters because they do a lot of corporations and alliances do hull replacement programs where if you lose a ship, it's fine, we'll just give you another hull. So they might order something from like an industry corporation that is like, hey, we need a thousand coveters by like by like this day. So this kind of stuff, it doesn't happen in other MMOs because Eve is so big and Eve has all these wrinkles that keep making stuff go down and down and down. So, you know, craziness. You got it, Glenn. Of course. Yo, that's great. Welcome to the stream, Glenn. We're watching down the rabbit hole. We're going to have a great time. So, mm. yes, hire some security players. That would be super awesome for the RP community, too. I like the RP. I, I really do. I'm not an RP person, but like I think that would be super sick. You lost your nightmare today, Tim. God bless you. Mm. Tim, God bless you. So, why you don't stream on Twitch? Sir, see Bulba. See Bulba. See Bulba. Mm. See Bulba. Yes, I am on Twitch. I'm on everything. We're on YouTube, Twitch, X, Facebook, and Kick. Right now. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. Let's keep on going. To make the problem worse, some alliances may vary their policy towards the gray over time and circumstance. For example, when tensions are high, an alliance may enter lockdown mode, and its policy becomes one of shooting the gray first and ask questions later. During more peaceful times, the policy may be changed to be nice to encourage trade. It gets worse. Some of the very large alliances may have different policies for the different regions it controls. Talk about a headache if you're one of the few players, e.g. traders, who might travel great distances.
Another problem with the gray is that it is an alliance slash corpse centric perspective. None of those are problems. None of those are problems. That's just the nature of navigating a relationship with a corporation. You're talking about the no blocks are thousands of people. There is going to be some hurt feelings when you have a literal bureaucracy, you know, that is at war with another bureaucracy. Like there's going to be some hurt feelings. That's just how it goes. It's always shoot first. That's correct, Bush Kitty. You're correct. So except the traitorship would be so valuable, everyone would hunt it for the killboard. Yes. And it, they just have to implement it differently. You know, it's it's a really awesome idea. You know what I'm saying? Glenn, welcome in. Yeah, yeah. Sibulba. Yeah, that's right. I got you, Sibulba. I got you. It is a first person measure. You are neutral to me now. I may be, however, enemies to your friend, and that can lead to a more complicated relationship. End quote. These problems were only growing greater. Trade had been a key element that allowed the early Nullsec corporations to build their first titans, but the war raging- Look at this footage, bro! Look at this footage, bro! We got Dread, 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 Titan, su Super? Super. That's an X. Titan. Oh my god, look at this footage, brother. ...was now making them more and more wary of neutrals who could be traitors or enemy inf- Go back to that footage. I want to see more of that. <laughs> this was really awesome, dude. That was really sick, dude. Oh, man. But these problems were being amplified in an important new way. After the collapse of Uli as a trade hub, traders returned to the four different- Remember, that was the, we saw that in the first, one of the first reactions we did with this. Uli used to be the original trade hub for all four nations. Okay. And then it was, it didn't, it, the short answer is it was no longer the trade hub. And then we got Jitta, Heck, uh, Do Dodixie and all the other ones, right? So. Different corners of empire space in the north, south, east, and west. In particular, they gravitated towards stations that hosted the best mission givers. Well Yo, we got to stop really fast because my man showing up absolutely incredible we've got uh uh sbk coming in absolutely dropping a, a ten dollar super chat coming in my friend welcome in welcome in i don't know why i don't see it on my events i see it in my chat though so sbk god bless you well, thank you very much you said so good to see you just wanted to say hello sorry i can't stay working family calls sbk showing up dropping some bones and then immediately choosing irl ladies and gentlemen i need an 07 in chat SBK, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank, that really helps us to do more and more dope things. Thank you, my friend. Oh, sevens to you. Thank you for that. Incredible stuff. Thank you for the class, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Plural. Thank you, Rabon. There it is. Thank you very much. There it is. It just came through. There it is. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I just made sure it happened. SBK, God bless. Thank you for that. We also got Glenn coming in with a sub on YouTube. Welcome in. And Josh SoCal with a follow on Twitch. And finally, Alejandro with a sub on YouTube. Welcome in, everybody. God bless you. So the Min Mill Invasion... Since direct enlistment has been next level one-sided, min mill faction warfare either, is either blob or run. If anyone can help Amar, your help will be appreciated. See, this is the best part, Tim. Maybe one day. I, I do plan on doing other faction warfares for other nations. I don't really care so much about, like, the four nations, you know, and, like, they're, they're like, you know, everything changed when the Kaldari attacked, you know. Right now, we just do cow mail, but, yeah, I'll do min mill at some point. It won't be soon, though. I can tell you that. But we have plans for that, so. Mm-hmm. While trading NPC goods had gradually been phased out and the player economy was allowed to supplant it, players could still earn money from NPCs through missions, and they tended to congregate within the stations that housed the highest earning missions. Entrepreneurial traders would offer weapons, ammunition, and ships for sale in these stations. Tim, I'm not sure what you mean, and that's not true. Uh, do you mean my in-game channel? Loru Gaming in-game? In First of all, you don't gotta send me anything. <laughs> Second of all, you don't have to be in my in-game channel to send me money. I'm not sure what you mean by that. So, don't send me money, I have enough, thank you. Patients hoping to sell to the wealthier mission runners at these convenient locations. However, more than just the mission runners were searching for these goods, and soon, a wider clientele was congregating around these stations as well. Recognizing this, more traders looking to sell their goods began placing their contracts alongside the others, even if they were unrelated to running missions, hoping to sell to those visiting the station. And so the trade. See what I'm saying? So see what I'm saying? It started with this is again why it's good game design. We we talked about this in like some of the some of the past ones that Eve has built in missions that gave items that required certain ships, items, ammo. So people started stocking those stations with 
ships, items, ammo. And then people would come to visit those because of the good prices. So then people would give more items there. So, hey, if you're here, buy this other wear. Okay, sure. And then all of a sudden you have this like, you know, you have this expanding outwards horizontal growth of what becomes a trade hub, right? This is why the game's so damn good. Because like in World of Warcraft, if I, I played WoW for years, that's why we like decades. That's why I talk about it a lot. And in Guild Wars 2, the main cities were built in as the main cities. Like maybe in 10 years, Jitta won't be the trade hub. Maybe, because it's just player run, player owned, you know, we'll see, we'll see what they change to the Citadels, hey, hey, Chad, who knows, the summer expansion's coming out, and I don't know anything, they have told me nothing, but Null is going to change, that's what they were saying, Null is going to, there's going to be different ores, different ores, out in Nullsec, you know, it's, I don't know, once you're in Nullsec, you have to go Scottish, ladies and gentlemen, they took our Vesmar, but they never take our oxygen. I don't, I don't know where that comes from, the point is, is that this is why Eve is great, the players are dictating, call it the meta, at every level, but there's just a little bit of scaffolding that the devs provide. The missions and the activities you can do to serve NPCs end up becoming the backbone of what is all this. You know what I'm saying? So I love I love the Sisters of Eve stations. The look inside and out, they're fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Tim. Thank you for that. So how do I join the in-game channel, if you go to our Discord, brother, okay, let me like show you this really, really fast. We're gonna pause the, this is actually really important to know. Let me go to the casting desk really, really, really fast and we'll go to our Discord. So anybody looking to join the in-game chat, okay? Let me open, the, here's, here's my Discord, okay? Scroll down once you join our Discord. Scroll down to the EVE Online chat. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff in here. We were live tweeting basically the skill extractor sale today and how you can capitalize on it, okay? The pinned messages, we show you all the goodies. Okay, so like here's how to join the in-game chat. The short answer is you press the plus button, then you type Loru Gaming and you press join. You know, all my links are here. Everything you need to be a part of the community at your speed is pinned in the EVE Online chat in our Discord. Okay, so that's that's what that is. All right, so let's get let's get uh, back to it. Yeah, yeah. Hubs established themselves and grew. Of the different trade hubs, the one that received the most traffic was the Kaldari Navy Assembly Plant, located around the fourth moon of the fourth planet of Jeta, the higher- Jeta! It all started back in the day with missions. And now Jeta is what it is today. Mm. The population mm. in the northern regions of Empire Space was due in large part to the attributes of characters. When creating a character, players are allowed to choose between the four different NPC empires, Amar, Minmatar, Galente, and Kaldari, and of the four... I'm pretty sure back in the day, he's, he's about to say, back in the day, Kaldari got better skills at the start. So this caused a lot of influx of Kaldari players, which led to Jitta becoming one of the biggest trade hubs because more people joined that race. I think that's what he's going to say. Kaldari were by far the most popular race for players due to their favorable attribute distribution, given that attributes determine how, uh -huh. how quickly a character can learn skills and skills determine what characters are capable of performing. Soon, much like you lie before it, the system of Jita was host to hundreds of players every day looking to- <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is really fun. People like repping each other in like a diamond. That's not easy to do. From a, like, you're flying your ship standpoint. How'd they do that, bro? These are professionals. They're better than me, Chan. What the heck? You know what I'm saying? So, it's almost like I played the game for the better part of 10 years now, Josh. I see you watch the YouTube videos. God bless you. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, I I do uh, Kaldari now because my base is in Jitta plural, but all my characters back in the day, they were all Galenta. Yes. Just curious, when you start and do the air tutorial, I thought those ships or skins looked way, way cool there. The airships, the, uh, oh yes. The sh short answer is yes, Glenn. Yeah, I loved the Astero, Stradio, some of the best looking ships the entire game. You know, better than station spinning. Yes, exactly. A thousand percent. So good. The trade, and it was. Tell me, Josh. I see you. I'm, 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 I'm scrolling up. I've watched too many to count now. This game is so much info needed. Needed some guidance. What is your question, Josh? Ask away, and I will totally answer. Just curious when you start. Okay, I already read this. Yeah, Josh, tell me your question. I will totally do. What are we? What are we drinking? This black coffee, my friend. Black coffee and some water. You know, that's how we do it here. So. Mm -hmm. The short answer, Glenn, is you don't get airships, you get Sisters of Eve ships, right? So. It's growing rapidly. 
but this time, Crowd Control Productions would be prepared. Since they had broken the Stargate links in Yulai, they had been working on the server backend, as they realized that they would need to prepare for far more success than they had anticipated Good. when they launched EVE Online. On March 1st, 2006, CCP Games announced a patch transferring the game onto new servers which utilized brand new, state-of-the-art AMD chips. Rather than trying to... We are at section 9. We are two hours into this six-hour documentary, and he's only at 2006, bro. <sighs> 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 Anybody else just feel wrinkles just like happen in their face? I did. To scatter the players again, now they would be doing all that they could to accommodate a naturally occurring trade hub. Soon, a single server would be dedicated exclusively to the system of Jita to manage the massive influx of traffic, as well as some- Good job, Josh, watching the PI videos and doing PI. Good. Good. Some permanent residents who began to participate in the day trading of commodities. With trade now being allowed to centralize, this also meant that if a particular commodity crashed, then it crashed for everyone in the game at once with little recourse. But while this new trade hub was located in Empire Space, its establishment significantly affected the culture of Nullsec. The northern regions had always been wealthy due to their natural resources and general proximity to Highsec, but the emergence of Jita guaranteed much easier access to what would soon become the undisputed center of the economy in New Eden, given that Jita was less than 10 Stargate jumps away from the nearest northern Nullsec. I didn't know this. This is a really good, important factor that... He says Jita. I will call it Jitta because I will not apologize. Thank you. Jitta's approximate location to an already wealthy null block, like quadruple reinforces its uh, uh, sovereignty as the game's trade hub, you know? And I think, I think I used to live like right here. I used to live like, I remember I, I found out that my uh, uh, area, it was in Poinin, I think. Poinin. I used to live there and boy, that was like, I found out that it was a major trade pathway because I kept seeing ships get ganked. And I was like, wh why am I living here if I keep seeing like safety come, come, come through this? And this is, you're once again seeing a example of the players being the ones that dictate, they call it the lore of the game based on an already wealthy null block. And yes, you know, CCP gave Kaldari characters better character stats for a while. That doesn't happen anymore. If you're watching this, you can't get better stats on your alts if they're Kaldari anymore. Everything's everything's equalized. All of this is still pretty awesome. Sex system. Eve's great. Dude. Trading Tell between me. Empire Space Tell and me. the northern regions mm. only became easier as time passed. Job but the inverse on. was true for the southern regions. The distance between Jita and Dell, for example, was many times longer, and where they once had been able to trade with Empire Space easily, they now had to travel much farther to sell their goods. As time passed, those Nullsec alliances living in the south would begin to develop their own internal economies. Leaders would encourage their alliance members to trade exclusively with one another, in many cases creating not only an economic, but a cultural divide between the players in the southern regions and the players in the rest of New Eden. But in the in-between spaces, an entirely new sort of dynamic was evolving, one forgotten by most. Right, instead of... Oh, we have an ad. Oh no. I'm going to mute this really quick. I actually caught the ad before it started playing. I'm going to play this. Wait, let, let's get rid of this ad and then I'll and I'll keep talking. Because I'm going to put this up on, on YouTube. So I don't want to like, you know. Okay, so let's pause that really, really quick. So that's really interesting because instead of the Null Sack Alliance is dying, because of course they're not going to die. They start finding ways to only prioritize there. So like this like desert men, this desert mentality like, they're literally Fremen, just, like, only trade with each other, like, desert power. <laughs> like, only trade with our alliance. That's really interesting to, like, ensure that the other alliances don't get more things. Like, they might have better industry-trained characters, but we're not going to trade with them so that we can maintain our survival. Again, really interesting stuff. Over the years, the dynamics <laughs> of the game had shifted radically. <laughs> As players gained more and more capital, and as the merchant races were supplanted by a full player economy, piracy was no longer making nearly as much money, and often, players would lose more money than they gained by hunting other players. Many, such as the aforementioned mercenaries, abandoned the practice in favor of fulfilling contracts for clients. 
What's more, the Nolsak alliances were growing into empires, and these empires often patrolled and defended their territory, stamping out any piracy not perpetrated by their own members. Y'all remember when damage control was an active module? Look at this. Damage control down here is an active module. This is a carrier, because it has the drone fleet, whatever the heck. Shield stuff, smart bombs, it can remote rep. What carrier remote shield reps? And is it all of them? <laughs> and it's got a daggum uh, uh, Nosferatu on. This looks like either it's another Titan or it's another... It might be a Leviathan or it's another carrier. Yeah, it was active, yeah. When you could have multiple warp stabs. I remember when I came back from my hiatus. I stopped playing here for like seven years. And I came back and a bunch of my ships had two warp stabs on it. And it wouldn't let me undock. And I was confused. I'm like, why can't I? I was like, there was like an error that didn't make sense. And when I went to the fitting window, it was like uh, over. It was like red, you know, and I'm like, what do you mean? I have to be able to stop being ganked. And, and I started reading up on it. I was like, oh, my God, they changed the item. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally different craziness. So mm, don't worry, Kane. I just trust Kane. We're going to figure it out. Don't you worry. So fighting spider taking dread was a nightmare. Oh, my God, Bush Kitty. Can you chat spider tanking dreads and supers? That just sounds that just sounds unfun. I'm not gonna lie about it, you know. So I logged in to find my Varger had an extra low slot. Yes. Well, like when they changed the Kronos last year, I have to redo all of my Kronos vids. Speaking of that, like, you know, this year we're gonna get the new Kronos vids going because many of you were like, Laura, the videos from last year literally don't work anymore. I'm like, yeah, sure. And chat, the easy answer is you just add in a, a target painter to the mid. And I'm whatever. So the only space left for these players was low security space or low sec. But when they moved, their paradigm gradually began to shift. Now that piracy was no longer making the players much money, the only ones who continued the practice did so for the love of it. In an interview for Down the Rabbit Hole, a prominent player and leader named Phantomite spoke to the role that those in Losek adopted. Quote, I feel like me killing people in Losek isn't piracy, I think it's just PvP. It's not a profession, I don't really earn any money from it. The fact that the game calls what you're doing illegal means that there's some kind of weird dishonor involved that's different to catching a traveler in Nullsec. It's just PvP. End quote. Those players who decide- I think that makes sense. Uh, you know, nothing bad to say about that. If you go into a flagged area, an area where PvP is encouraged, sure. Yeah, and he's not making money. His The main point is, like, he's not making money from it. It's just PvP. It's not that he's a pirate. It's that he's just PvPing. He's catching you. He's taking out your ship, and then he loses his stuff, and then, okay, whatever. You know, so, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, people might read that and go, like, oh, I can't believe low suck pirate. He's just playing the game his way. Again, it's a sandbox. Players like this keep prices low because if they take out if they take uh, players like this, the existence of players like this that stop people going in from high to null in low and like in these like in-between areas, keep prices low because it means that you have to either take longer to get your markets, your goods to market, or the goods that are getting to market die on the way and then there's less of them. So one of the reasons why Eve's economy is so stable is actually because you have hunters like this, you have PvPers like this. It's kind of like in the ocean, if there was no sharks, then the ocean would literally die because the fish would just explode and they would eat everything. Like there has to be predators to keep the uh, gatherers in check, sort of like that, you know? And Eve, <laughs> Eve is definitely in the game to do that with, she, you know? ...decided to stay were the only ones dedicated enough to continue their piracy in part due to a particular feature. Early after the release of the game, CCP launched a feature called Kill Mails, which were permanent in-game records of ship destruction. <sighs> and thus, Eve's culture shifts entirely. Kill Mails are a completely unique thing in MMOs. A record. I don't know. Do you know of another game that has an in-game record of who and what and sort of how killed another player? Like, is there another MO that does this? I don't think so. I think it's just Eve. And this is super interesting because, yes, it shows, like, what, what dropped, you know, uh, the value of it, where they were, the player, the damage taken, all this other stuff. 
But you get this. I had a comment on our last down the rabbit hole reaction about how it's interesting that in Eve, there's a culture around stealing kill males or stealing kills. It goes beyond kill stealing. Excuse me, chat. My dinner's coming back to bite me. In League of Legends, if you steal someone's kill, they did all the work, but then you steal their kill and then you get the gold. But in Eve, it's not just about like, you don't get any extra money if you take the kill mail. If you get the last hit, because the last hit is the person that gets the kill mail. Albion Online does it. Okay, I did not know this. I don't like top-down gains, though, chat, so I don't really count them. <laughs> it's a fine game, chat. I just don't, you know. I'd try it if they did, like, a sponsored stream, but they'd have to really be incredible for me to, like, enjoy it, because top-down games and I, I stopped playing League for a reason, you know. Kill mails are interesting, because the culture around it is now not... Who gets the kill mail? Yes, some people are like, I must be on the kill. You know, I have to, people call it whoring on the kill mails, right? Like if you see a big ship going down, get one shot on it just in case. I've literally seen people with like, their like Tempest fleets and they have all of their guns in one group except one gun is just off to the side. And in case they need to just like pop something, they'll just throw it on there just so they can increase their uh, presence on other kill mails. Isn't that interesting? So, mm. due to both the destroyed party and those involved in destroying them, and many players began to covet these kill mails and collect them like trading cards, with certain ships or players being more or less prestigious. While this wasn't always the primary motivating factor for those hunting other players, it did mean that they could keep a record of their experiences doing That's so, Steve the ensuring Titan. an official method of tracking prestige. But the kill mails introduced another dynamic, loss aversion. Since kill mails were public, one's victories and losses were both available to any who wanted to see them. That's a really good point. Really good point. Now, especially with Z, Z Killboard, and I'm sure they'll talk about that because it's Z, Z Killboard is like something that is so ingrained into the culture. Like kill mails are part of the culture, but Z Killboard put it all on display. Not just your kills are public, your losses, right? Like you, if you are in a big ship and you die to something stupid, what's your first thought? Right? What's your first thought? Like, uh, everyone's going to say this on Z Kill. <laughs> it's like, it's incredible. I don't think Z Killboard ruined EVE Online. I don't think so at all. It made public everybody's mistakes and wins and changed the culture. I don't think it ruined EVE. I don't think anything ruined EVE because EVE isn't ruined. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. People can disagree. That's totally fine. So, <clears throat> yes, correct him. Wait, it's possible to group only certain amounts of guns and keep one or more ungrouped? I've been waiting, wanting to do that. Yeah, it is. Um, you, I can tell you, like, I don't have it open right now, right? Okay, uh, Texas, Texas DJ. You mouse over, you, like, press the group all button, right? And they all go into one group. There's, like, a button that's, like, right here. It's not my UI. I'm just going to give you an, uh, like, example, right? You press and hold shift, and you left click and drag the weapon over here and then release the left click. And the bulk of the group will stay over there, but the one will stay. The one will go to the new area, right? And then if you, so if you have like four, four guns, you group it at four, you drag it over, you have three and one, you do it again, two and two. Does that make sense? That's how you can do that. So that's how that makes sense. So yeah, yeah. And a loss was often considered a shame in you the got eyes it, Texas. of the community, at least to the player who lost the ship. On this, Phantomite said, quote, I feel it is socially unacceptable to lose in this game. If you lose a fleet fight to begin with, in local, the winning side will almost always jeer at you and be a bad winner, mock you for having dared to lose a fight in EVE Online. It's not congratulations on winning, it's you idiots, you lost, how stupid do you feel right now? Especially as group sizes get larger, there's a lot of bitterness on both sides. I'm sorry, you mean like any video game? <laughs> like, yeah, really? If I get ganked in League of Legends, if I'm not paying attention and mid swings bottom and I get CC'd to hell by like the uh, the Sona support and the, I still remember all this stuff, right, Chant? And the like jungling Twitch destroys the heck out of me. It's not going to be a like, like, it's not going to say good fight. GG's. No, in, in the all chat, they're going to be like, get good scrub. <laughs> you died. <laughs> That's how it's going to be every time. This is not an Eve only thing is my point. You know, people can say like, oh, I can't believe the culture around kill bales is negative. When you die, uh, first of all, it's not negative. It just is. It is what you want it to be, right? Like your kill mail losses only matter if you care about them. 
You know, if you are risk averse, like, oh, I don't want it to be all my kill bales. That's on you. I'm not. I bling all my ships. All my ships. If I can afford to lose it, I will fly it. Because it's a game. It's a daggum video game. You know, it's not a tournament. Well, huh. I don't want it to be. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? So, and your team can scream at you. Sure, sure. Because you have to do well. But that's where maybe you don't want to play with those guys anymore, right? I, I joined a couple of guilds when I was in WoW before I joined my main raiding guild. And the, the, I didn't like the culture behind it. It was too controlling, too too toxic. So I left and I found other players that were like, yeah, show up to raids. Uh, we have like a minimum raid requirement for your consumables. Farm them whenever you can. But, uh, you know, if you're missing one, just let me know. Take Get most of them. We're not pushing content. We're not going for a world first. We're just trying to kill uh, Illidan here. You know, sheesh. It was Black Temple, baby. You know what I'm saying? So that's not even the same. Most of LOL, you can look at the map and see someone coming. True thread. I'm not saying the games are similar. I'm saying if you get killed in League, people are going to flame you in the all chat. And if you get killed in uh, EVE, not League, but EVE, people are still going to flame you in uh, uh, local. Some people think that GG means get good. So, and sometimes it does. <laughs> it's just it, video games, ladies and gentlemen. If there's PvP involved and you get killed, someone's going to BM you. That's just how it is. You know, it, it, time for us to get a thicker skin. Because if you get a thick skin, it won't matter as much. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Sides. End quote. On the opposite end of yeah, the yeah, spectrum, a group of players have been growing in size, prominence, and role in the greater EVE community. Early in the game's lifetime, a help chat was implemented so that players could offer assistance to other players learning the game, but many found that this limited forum was insufficient due to the complexity of EVE. And so, a new player-run institution was formed, EVE University. It Huge. Huge. I need some 07s in chat for EVE Uni. Still active today. Still a corporation. Salute EVE University. This, again, doesn't happen in other MMOs. Eve players teaching Eve players how to do better and enjoy their game. They got fleets. I got nothing but respect for Eve University. I would love to talk to their CEO or their directors or whatever. And just to like showcase their culture to you. You know, just 07s all around. Thank y'all. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, exactly, Commander, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Gravy. They're still around. They're still doing great. So mm -hmm. Its primary impetus was to assist new players by teaching See, so EVE University turning rookies into aces. I read that as my dyslexic butt said, turning rookies into access. And I'm like, what does that mean? You know, turning rookies into aces. This is a really good line. This is a great line. I don't know if this is still still correct, Chad, but you can still go to, you just Google EVE University and they're they're like still there. So, them the basic yeah. mechanics as well as good practices with hands-on experience. While other corporations would sometimes invite new players and assist them so that they could swell their ranks and achieve greater goals, EVE University had few such aspirations. Rather, uniquely, it declared itself a neutral body who would not take sides in any wars, though its members, known as students or unistas, were free to do as they pleased whenever they chose to leave. Many years later, in an interview with the online EVE news site Crossing Zebras, a new CEO, Asmodeus Velar, said that, quote, EVE University exists to give new players a place to learn about EVE in a supportive community. We maintain neutrality so that our students can move on to whatever section of EVE interests them, end quote. But this neutrality would quickly come to be a limiting factor. In I was going to say, did that continue? Is EVE Uni still neutral today? I think it might be, but is it? October of 2005. Nina, are you just enriching people right now? <laughs> I mean, hey, do it. You know, they are. Okay, good. Eve Uni is still neutral. Okay, good, good, good. Five. Eve University found. Nino, feel free to do whatever you're doing. Good job. Good job. Did a new alliance called the Big Blue and sought to hold territory in Nullsec. But after less than a year, an unknown client hired mercenary. I know, ladies and gentlemen, we got we got some. I, I I can't ignore this anymore. We got some absolute titans of Eve in the chat right here. Kaldari Prime Pony Club and Bush Kitty, welcome in, y'all. Just great to see you coming in. We're gonna get through this section ten, and then I get a I get a new Proteus fit to show off for you, Chan. Okay, this has been a good. I can't believe it. Can you believe it's been an hour? I I, I can't believe it. It's crazy. Welcome in, y'all. Great to see you. Great to see you coalition to evict them for unclear reasons another reflection of the growing necessity for corporations to ally themselves with one another in order to serve God, is there anything better than just being in a fleet warp like that playing an mmo and just like warping together like rolling out with the boys you know 
like a little bit of a brew in hand. It's been a long week and you got raid night, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good feeling, ain't it? You know, it's not just nostalgia, right? It's a good feeling. I'm hoping I can get and showcase some of those to you when I join my new corp, which if you're watching live is this coming Saturday in our subathon. I would pay attention this Saturday if I were you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's going to be great. So mm, I'm so glad you did, Thrad. I'm so glad you did. This coming winter Nexus, bro, you're going to have even more quality. I, t I tell you. Survive the growing turbulence of Nullsec. Eve University's policy of neutrality wouldn't allow them the partnerships with the large... Sorry about that plural. You're going to miss out on billions of ISK. Can't give it away, bro. <laughs> we have uh, today's skill extractor video, y'all. This is not going to be on YouTube. Y'all get the like behind the scenes. Today's skill extractor video that I just published. Uh, this video was requested of me by the man himself, Marquis Dragon. He said, hey, he approached me and said, Laura, if I give you some skill extractors to give away, can you make me a video of these and feature our site? And I said... said yeah, bro, whatever you need. <laughs> so it's not only is there a massive skill extractor sale on Marquis store right now that you can get even cheaper if you use code Loru at checkout. Okay. Not only is this a two for one deal, which is literally market breaking, even if you don't buy it with dollars, I would go in game right now and put up buy orders for skill extractors because you can make money on them in like a month. Not just that. We put out a guide today. You're welcome, Marquis. Making sure that all of you not just can buy skill extractors for cheaper, but know how the heck to use them. Because these are not simple items. And before y'all invest any ISK, I want you to have the full information. Okay, so that's that's this. That's this. You know what I'm saying? So use code lower for all your good stuff. Check it out. You know, it's literally... Lanky, I bought... I spent... Uh, uh, I bought 20 skill extractors with my own liquid ISK today. And they're cheaper today than they have been in like four months. And I'm going to hold them for like two weeks and then sell them for, I'm estimating, 100 million ISK profit per item. Your boy made 2 billion ISK today in one move. <laughs> That's how it goes, chat. So the rich do get richer. <laughs> but really, chat, like, this was a big deal because... Marquee gave us skill extractors to give away. We're going to give a bunch away at the subathon on Saturday. We got a bunch to give to you. So if you, if you can show up. So they are skill extractors are not reusable. They're a one-time thing. The full guide quirk is on YouTube for you. There's so much to say. The full guide is on there. They're not reusable. Okay. And quirk, that's what this video is for. We just put it out brand new today. After the stream, check it out. You'll be able, you'll be a skill extractor expert by the time the video is done. Okay. So merger groups that they required. Unwilling to compromise on this defining feature, Eve University decided to base themselves in high- Andrew says, what's going on with the PI2 video? The patrons have it right now. The patrons have the video. Okay. Patrons get it early. Okay. Now, the YouTube will get it early next week. Patrons get all the value early. That's how we do it. Okay, PI video two coming out early next week, and then PI video three is coming out, and then the Gila video is coming out very, very soon. Don't you worry. We have so much good stuff coming out for you. I'm very excited about it. Ugh. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you letting me have a cadence to this. Thank you for that. Letting me breathe because <laughs> I work very hard. Chad, thank you for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I security space instead and partnered with other corporations in a new alliance, which they named Ivy League, in part to protect themselves from the vast number of war declarations that they were suffering. As a group Ooh, comprised yeah. primarily of new players learning from a smaller number of more seasoned players declaring war. Look at these smart bombs, bro. Ugh, what is this ship? Look at the. Ew, gross. What is this ship with four nanos and three inertia stabs in the lows? And you know this is a warp speed mod with... This has got to be a freaking Macarial. Eight smart bombs in the highs, bro. Eight. Bro, this is a freaking Macarial, ain't it? Or on EVE University was an easy way for more aggressive and less discerning players gross. to gather easy kill mails. Despite oh, well. these hazards, Eve University began to grow as a foundational part of New Eden's social landscape, with corporations seeking out those who had spent time learning in it. Their decision to retire from Nullsec would become a practically permanent one on June 19, 2009, when CCP released their expansion, Revelations 2. 
With this expansion, powerful defensive sovereignty bonuses would be granted to anyone who owned over half of the structures within a system for 28 days. Once this had been achieved, a structure called a Sinojammer could be built in the system, disallowing any player from lighting a Sinoshural field within the system. I didn't know that. Is that real? This shows you I haven't been in Null in 15 years. Is that still a thing? Sino jamming? If you own more than half the structures in a region for a month, I, I, I think is what he said. That is awesome. Is that still a thing? Somebody in Null, Nino's here. Nino, do you have Sino jammers? <laughs> Are they active right now, my friend? You know what I'm saying? So... Yo, Red Grimora started the game two days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get some welcomes? Welcome to New Eden, Red Grimoire. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in, Red G. Good to see you. Just give me. Well, yeah. Welcome the man's in. Good to see you. Come on down. Enjoy the guides. The Alpha Abyss guide is where I would start with you, Red, to get you some good isk. We have Alpha Abyss full playlist on youtube that's where i would go first for sure for sure sino jammer is still a thing thank you okay good 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 we have a lot <laughs> nino's like yeah Lord, um, not only is it a thing we have many <laughs> thank you for that yes exactly so while capital ships could use stargates they were choke points in which they could easily be caught and the only uh -huh. practical way of bringing a capital i love ship those animations fight was so through fun. the use of sino Shural fields by restricting their use, it meant that any alliance attacking a system with a high enough sovereignty bonus could only do so with subcapital ships, an oh. effectively impossible task against any active alliance. This meant that Nullsec alliances were now much more stable in their ownership of territory as long as they possessed enough capital ships. I, I like this change. The, <clears throat> the Null alliances should be safer, in my opinion than living in high sec at scale because you're again encouraging the players to leave high sec to go into other areas and that's fine the Ravi. you can disagree i think it's better if the no blocks are safer quotes than high sec now we we know you are we know you are never safe in here you know we we all know this right but I think it should be something that is safer than high sec. Okay, so Nino about to make Reggie's day. Don't, Nino, give him a, like a care package, you know? You give a new bro like a hundred million isk and they're just they're, they're just going to quit. Like they, they beat the game, you know what I'm saying? Give him like, um, I don't even know what you got, dude. Give him like, give him like 25 million isk or something. Something he can play with and buy all of his wildest dreams and then go from there. But like 100 million, he'll literally stop playing because he beat the game. He's, he's done. I made my money. <laughs> I signed a Delorus stream. I, I bought Eva Lied, signed a Delorus stream. There was a generous gift around. Now I'm done with the game. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. I have a pile of skill books I don't think are worth selling. Sell them anyway, plural. Just, just drop them, you know? The major factions in Nullsec had now been set. With the mm. base mechanics, the social groups, and the varying playstyles within EVE all growing more complicated and nuanced by the day, the development team recognized that they wouldn't be able to keep track of all of them and balance them alone. And so, in late 2007, Crowd Control Productions announced the establishment of the Council of Stellar Management, a body of- In 2007, CSMs became into B. Now, he, he's going to explain this, but CSMs are community elected- members of the community that are elected by the community to be uh, liaisons between the devs and the community itself. Now, there's a lot of drama involving CSMs. They're basically politicians. And, you know, you can imagine how that goes. So, Octane, anybody got five billion is to give away? Octane, listen. No. <laughs> don't, don't give Octane any money. Octane, you're welcome to be here. But, you know, you can go make isk by playing the game we have some generous people here but we're not going to like ge generosity to those that are deserving not someone coming in like begging for isk you know what i'm saying come on now. come on come on so what do you need what do you even need all that isk for funny's right kevin it's good to see a forest also on youtube thank you very much for the subscribes thank you kindly thank you very much yeah yeah let's keep this going Jim. players elected by the player base to communicate i got you Bogtate. i got you their interests directly to the company 
Early in the game's lifetime, CCP had requested that players join the developers to speak about the game, but they had been hand-picked after applying, as opposed to the more democratic method of the council. Of the 97 applications, 33 were rejected for varying reasons, including behavioral and technical, leaving 60... 33 were rejected because of behavioral and technical. Technical I get. Uh, well, maybe, what does that mean? Maybe I don't get it. Technical. Like they're not good enough at the game or that their computer isn't that good? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> they're not good at, the, at uh, flying the ship or they have a crappy graphics card. Like, denying somebody because their CPU sucks, I don't know about that one. Behavioral, yeah, sure, if someone's a dick, yeah, you don't want them to represent the, like, whole community. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. Four to be voted on by the community in a first-past-the-post system, where the 14 players with the most votes would be elected. A PDF document written by CCP representative Petr Johannes Oskarsson details the role and responsibilities of the Council of Stellar Management, but not before spending over half of the document on what he called a comparative analysis of real structural social evolution with the virtual society of EVE Online. In the opening paragraphs, he wrote, quote, the only consensus in the study of sociocultural evolution is that no single theory can aptly describe the universal development and progression of any society. Myriad factors ranging from geographical location to religious beliefs and even weather conditions, prevailing or roguish, all complicated the analysis. Introducing the most subtle variable could drastically alter the course of two societies. Listen, he's reading the sentences. What are they saying? I don't know. I'm not smart enough for this, dude. I didn't graduate college. <laughs> what are these SAT words doing in my EVE Online video? You know, it's, it's a myriad of factors right? from geological. He started saying things. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I understood zero of that. Essentially, what I think this is saying is they did an analysis of the culture of EVE at a macro and they couldn't nail it down pat in one way. Makes sense. Eve is a big game. It's got a lot of stuff going on. There's, they literally talk about like, hey, there's a storm going on. There's a hurricane going on in like the islands of the Pacific. So that, that alliance is down right now, which is affecting the like market in the game. Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bush Kitty. Yeah, I agree with you, dude. Bob. <laughs> <clears throat> Introducing the most subtle variable could drastically alter the course for two societies. You, I am asleep. I don't know what's going on. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Nino, thank you for being so generous. Fantastic. I love it. That would have otherwise evolved along similar paths. Thus, it is these general paths or unilinear milestones that this paper will draw real world comparisons from. The purpose of the analogy is to establish the foundation for implementing a deliberative, democratically elected council in EVE. This is by no means an endorsement of any social evolution theory. A comparison with actual civilizations is beyond the scope of this analysis. But it will demonstrate the striking similarities between this theory of real-life societal development and the virtual society evolution of EVE, while also relying on one key assumption about individuals in both realms, that they are motivated by the pursuit of value, the core okay. of which is driven by their instinct for survival. Okay. Okay. So they are trying to do some kind of study while they're electing this first CSM. That basically, right, everyone in chat is like, hmm, yes, I concur, do you concur, chat? I concur, I agree. What did he say? You know, I, I, you know, I think what it's trying to say, because I'm, I'm seriously not smart enough for this. This is like some PhD crap, okay? I think what it's trying to say is that they're trying to analyze the culture and society inside of EVE. And the CSM is going to be a major factor in that, in that they're going to be a driver of it, I think, which makes sense to me. I got to tell you, Chad, this is like, this is just some way, just over my head. Sheesh. Red Grimora, absolutely. Twitch primed out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome in, Reggie. Welcome to New Eden. You're most accepted here, my friend. So, mm, enjoy it. End quote. While this document was likely meant to help instill within the EVE community the impression that CCP was taking seriously their responsibilities toward the game, it also illustrated the divide that was growing between the players and their game world's caretakers, despite their attempts to the contrary. 
while the majority of the player base was primarily interested in simply having fun by playing the game on the most minute level, the developers saw themselves as being on the cusp of a newly developing world that reflected elements of the human condition. Similar. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I don't know what the screenshot is. <laughs> I picked. Don't talk to me or my son ever again, okay? I, I don't. That makes more sense. And you, you see some of this very cerebral stuff now. You listen to the stuff from FanFest. And you, and you read the things that they're trying to do with Project Awakening, all those press releases. And it's all very cerebral, all very like humanity. Humanity at a macro must evolve. It, it's, it sounds like and reads like one of the like AI movies, like the AI and I robot, you know, like humanity must evolve and I'm the one to do it kind of thing. You know, I don't hate it. I agree with the analogy of bro, it's a video game. What are you talking about? And they're like. We must analyze the implications of this on society. Like, sure, sure, they can do that. It's interesting, you know. It's, it's fine, right, Tim? Yeah, some. I don't think some. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that it's a uh, very, very cerebral, and very, very like uh, the word grandiose is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's it's a video game, right? If some people want to use it as like a social experiment, sure, you can. Probably leave me out of it. <laughs> to the way that the founding you know. members of CCP had attempted to create a new internet interface with the virtual reality markup language during their time at Oz Virtual. Oscarson wrote in the document that, quote, until now, comparisons of political. Oh God, it's the PhD again, Chan. Buckle in. Philosophy and social structures in the virtual world have been drawn from parallels with the real one. But it cannot be stressed enough that today, with this many people comprising the civilization of Eve and the potential ripple effect of any change in the way this society is governed, further legislative applications based mostly on CCP's interpretation of the real world are likely to cause more harm than good. To achieve continued success, Eve's society must be granted a larger role in exerting influence on the legislative powers of CCP. Governance of virtual- I'm trying, chat. I'm trying to- I feel like I'm like, I am- I am- Locked in, bro. I'm trying to figure this out. I think what they're trying to, what this, I think what Professor over here is trying to say is that this Eve society, the players of Eve need more of a say in the direction of the game at a, call it a cultural level. I think that's what this is, right? Because the, the developers of Eve have these very big, not incorrect views of the game that it could become this like new vulture world. Like it could be when Ready Player One becomes a like reality that New Eden is like one of the places you can go. They're going to be like the first ones to do that. I think with Project Awakening, we're already kind of seeing shades of that, by the way. Go watch that video on our YouTube. Subscribe. The point is that sure. And I agree that, uh, the CSM is going to be basically a liaison in between the devs and the and the players. That's really all this is saying, I think. So I don't know if they were tyrannical rulers, Fooney. I don't know if I would go that far. It's more like we're playing a video game and they and want to play a video game and they're running a social experiment. By definition, if we have different cultural ideological goals over time we're going to drift apart we being the players versus the devs so having somebody as an in-between meant that like as we drifted we could like oh hey stop that oh, oh okay sure hey we're going this way oh okay sure you know it, it could keep on like coming in and out and like oscillating see i know some big words too <laughs> dual worlds is a unique endeavor there is no precedence to follow end quote the responsibilities for the Council of Stellar Management were more than might typically be expected from a group of player consultants. Right, 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 right. Okay, like, look at this. They literally, I'm going to move my big freaking noggin, right? So CSMs, they'll literally come out twice a year to Reykjavik, where, and talk to the devs. Each year, CSM holds FanFest, right? Several members of the CSM will attend these events in, in person. So, the highest rank from the election, so there's multiple CSM members, and then the ones that are the highest will show up. So, sure, 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 sure. Council terms will be a year. Sure, makes sense. So, all of this... See, some people will think that this is bad. I see this as awesome. A game company takes its culture and its community so seriously that they're willing to help people get flown out to their HQ People that are not just like randos, 
No, they didn't win tournaments necessarily. These are uh, community elected representatives of the community that get flown out. Really cool. So <laughs> Rabba and CCP has declined to acquiesce to the community's request. Means no. I love Barbosa chant. You know, Cap, we need you at the helm. I that to be true. I, I love Barbosa chat. He's one of my favorite characters. So stuff like this is why I love the game. It's simultaneously absurd and beautiful in all the best ways. Yes. Yes. So I never have gone to see us to Iceland without the CSM. There it is, Kaldari. I didn't know that you were one of those. That's like fantastic. They really look after you too. See, okay, Kaldari Pony. Can you tell us, obviously you can't like divulge private stuff, but like it went well, you know? I didn't know that you were a CSM or R. I'm not really sure. I haven't followed stuff. So CSM four to five a long time ago, gotcha. Did it go well? You know, you can't divulge private stuff and I don't want you to, but like, did you have a good time? Like, did they give you like a ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> or like nothing else? Or was it like, you know, was it like really, really good? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got to pause. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got to pause because we are getting raided by the man himself, Crash Naps. Ladies and gentlemen, defend from the raid. Crash Naps dropping the viewers off. We are here in this Twitch category about to be raided by Crash Naps himself, the man himself. Defend from the raid. Spam your emotes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see it, Crash. It's good to see you. Welcome in. Daddy? <laughs> well, that's not me, Crash. You know that's all you. Come on now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I slipped. I slipped. That must be. Crash, can I uh, Can I tell him what we got cooking? I haven't told anybody yet. I'll leave it to you. I love that. He was <laughs> my favorite one, though. It's like the duck face emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Crash Naps and I have a confirmed co-stream collab on the books. We're going to roam around. We're going to get, a, it's going to be a little bit of an after dark stream. We're going to have a little Bruce, you know what I'm saying? I'm a tequila man myself, Crash. So it's going to be a great time. Yes, Jim, you got me. It's it's confirmed. Crash and I are dating. Uh, the, the body pillow is not, not really what it is. It's me. I'm the one. That's it. You you found me out. That's right. It's me. You know, I have to tell my wife, but I knew anime arc. Let's go. So, uwus in chat. Oh my god, chat. We got some absolute tier one subs on Twitch. Out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. So, I don't have the JoJo dance queued up. I can't do copyright music, Crash, because I'm on Twitch, YouTube, X, Facebook, and Kick at the same time, you know? Just, just woo all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Amazing stuff. So we're going to have a great time. It's going to be a good PVP stream. Absolutely. We're, we're straight gaming right now. Now, y'all that are coming in, we are currently reacting live to the down the rabbit hole video. We got a brand new Proteus fit that we're going to show y'all. We're going to go dive into some wormholes in just a moment. I love the gifts, JM. It makes me very happy. So we're going to finish. Um, how much more time we got? We got five more minutes, so a solid 20 minutes in reaction time for this, and then we're gonna dive into some wormholes with the brand new Proteus switch. We got the double active heals coming in. Okay, we've been I've been doing some I've been doing some testing, and we got some stuff coming in. But I'd be remiss if I didn't tell all of you about the absolute winning we have coming up this Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. This Saturday. We have billions of isk to give to you in the form of our subathon. It is going to be maximum 12 hour stream. We are participating in the frigate free for all that Rix is hosting. It's going to be great. And there's a massive invasion. I, I have my sources telling me of a massive invasion confirmed for the frigate free for all. And you're going to see it first here on your boy's stream, okay? We have some big announcements that day, including the corporation that I'm gonna be joining. Uh, we got billions of S to give to y'all. Literally billions of S, so don't miss it. You can RSVP over in the Discord, or over on YouTube, the schedule's on Twitch, the whole shebang. Literal, literal billions, billions with a B. Crash, thank you for dropping the people off. God bless you, it's fantastic, so. Thank you very much for coming in. So never heard of that market. Is it like the Eve market? So no, no, it's this. And Crash, Crash, do you have a marquee code? 
Do you have one? I don't remember. I don't remember who has and who doesn't. So Tim Query over on YouTube, here's the link for you. The description of the YouTube stream will have the marquee code for you. This is a place where you can go buy Eve items. So that's that's where that is. And it's all it's all above board. It's not RMT. You won't get banned. It's all completely legit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Crash, just go ping him. Marquee will just give it to you, bro. It's great stuff. Like today... Crash, like, take, go get a code and take my freaking sales push, brother. You know what I'm saying? Just ready, ready. Crash, you, you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Marquee Dragon Store. Okay. Right now, there is a two for one sale. Two for one sale for skill extractors on. So instead of buying these in the even game store and spending more money, what you do is you use my code, code Loru. You add this to cart, you press checkout. You type L-O-R-U, you apply it, and you spend less money than in-game. The same items you're already buying. You get them for less money. When you go to Marquee Dragon Store, use code LORU. Instant delivery. They got an incredible customer support. I had a couple problems, like uh, not on my side or their side. Like the site lagged a little bit. I wasn't sure. They contacted me that day. It was solid. It was easy peasy. Boom, boom, done, done. Take it kindly. Now, since we're an affiliate, we get a little bit of a kickback. You know, so every time you use this, it helps the stream. 200 of you are using my code a month on average. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, seriously. It's fa it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you for that. So yeah, yeah, don't use a VPN for sure. Crash, thank you again for the freaking raid. You know, I hope the stream went very well, dude. Jim, thanks for the for the follow. We got Ben Volio. That's an incredible name. <laughs> That's an incredible name. Timer, thank you for the follow as well. Crash, I'm really excited for the... I'm seriously, dude, it's going to be a great night. What is your drink of choice, Crash? I'm a tequila man myself, and I've got some uh, Espelon. It tastes like Patron enough, right? But it's like half the price, you know? That's why I like it, because it's a uh, ooey. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Patron is... <laughs> Your boy don't got that much YouTube money, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I need, I need more sponsors for that kind of stuff. So, mm. so there it is, B-Town. There it is, you know what I'm saying? Ooh wee, yeah, yeah. Don't think I popped in one of your streams before. Shadow, it's great to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, this is we're reacting to Down the Rabbit Hole tonight. And then we're gonna get into some Proteus action. We got five more minutes on Down the Rabbit Hole. And then we're gonna do this, dude. Scotch, are you a Woodford Reserve man, Crash? Like me. I love a good Woodford Reserve, bro. A single piece of ice. And a, you give me a Stogie and a Woodford, I am set. Crash, we we going to hang out at FanFest, dude. We're going to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So, gross, Kaldari. <laughs> I, just, I don't even want to read that on stream. So good. I love Woodfords. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Scotch, please. I do. Man's name is Glenn Fittich. Okay, we got Mr. Glenn Fittich. Thank you for your quality scotches in chat right now. God bless you. So, all right, I'll get Woodford. Let's do it. Listen, you get Woodford. I'll see if I can get it because we got... Oh, we have time. It's not for another couple weeks, chat, just because my schedule is crazy. Thank you for being so gracious, Crash. Goodness gracious. My schedule is literally nuts. So God, God bless you, Crash. Thank you for that. So, oh, chat, that means something. Give me a moment. We just got something, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody, somebody's a new patron, I think. My my patron alerts are still absolutely stupid. Poggies me too. Love it. Good to see you. Yeah, I, I got you, Crash. I got you. Thank y'all so much for that. So somebody just joined the, like, Patreon. My, my stupid alerts take forever to go with Patreon, so I got to refresh it. So if you just did it, give me a moment and I can do it. So let me, like, see this here. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? We got Alexander Borovsky coming in as a tier two patron, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, the tier two patrons get exclusive never sold merch and the brand new Bastion Mode Kronos Battleship mug is in. And you get one of those, my friend. Thank you very much, Alexander, coming in. The other mugs, I got to show them off. I don't know. We got a brand new T2 patron. We also got our cruiser mug coming in, the Proteus mug. You like the green screen on those trails. You know what I'm saying? The T2 patrons only get these. We're never going to sell these. And the fan favorite, the most popular mug, the Astero mug. Yes, the green screen is killing it. But the, the, the frigate mug, the Astero mug, absolutely killing it. Y'all doing it. Enjoy it. Brand new patrons coming in. Alexander, thank you for supporting the brand over on Patreon. God, God bless you. Thank you very much for that. So, <clears throat> incredible stuff. Yeah, the, the Battleship mug is brand new. Literally got it last week. So, glad to show y'all. Let's, okay, let's let's play the game now. <laughs> let's finish this, and then we're going to get into uh, some good stuff. We'll get it done. Bellum, thanks for the follow over on Twitch. Five minutes left 
Five minutes left. Which perhaps helps to in this down the rabbit hole. Now, <clears throat> now, Caldari Pony Club just answered us. They said yes, that they were treated very well at CSM. That's good to know at the like summit. That's good to know because you never know with the game companies. Are they going to fly you out and then give you like, here's a voucher for like Subway. Go like figure it out. It's good to know that they treated you well, Kaudari Pony Club. Thank you for that. Thank you for the insight. Explain the small number of applicants. Quote, at least twice a year, CCP will convene multi-day summit meetings in Reykjavik. So annoyed. In a so annoyed. I just read all this. <laughs> Each year, CCP holds its FanFest <sighs> convention. Seven members of the CSM attend these events in person. Council terms will last 12 months, and elections will follow the expiration of each term. This time frame corresponds roughly to the expansion release cycles of EVE Online. Do you think that CSMs should last for longer than one year? I think a year is good. I think a year is good. Asking a player to be a community elected representative of the video game you're playing for longer than a year, life happens, bro. Life happens. I think a year is a good enough time frame. I really, really do think a year is a good enough time frame. You know, so I don't think so. Eve partners get Plex every quarter. They pay for one account. They give us 500 Plex a month is a nice way to see it. Or is it a quarter? I don't remember now. But they basically pay. They pay us in Plex. We don't get money or anything to be Eve partners. I don't know if CSMs get that as well. JMBs, it's good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, yeah. So they can be reelected for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to go to Scotland with it. Me too, Kefka. Me too. So partners get 1500 plex every three months. So that's oh, thank you, Ghost Eagle. What's up, Ghost Eagle? Speaking of partners, that's right. So they literally pay for you to be omega per month, like 500, if it's 500 plex a month ish. You know, I end up taking the plex and giving it back to the like community in some way. So CSMs get one account paid for. There it is. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. One account paid for. It's pretty nice. You know, I think that makes sense. I'm not sure how they do that, though. Now, I just didn't have to pay while on the CSM. Sure, sure. I mean, they might just be like, hey, here's your Omega. And they just like, they uncheck the box that like, hey, you need to pay for this. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure we're going to follow Ghosty Gaming. Okay. Crash Naps with the Massive Raid. Thank you, Crash. Thank you very much. Bush Kitty is also here. Go follow these people. Chat quality Eve people. Go give them a follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End quote. These do it. council members would be privy to restricted knowledge so that they could give their unique perspectives as players. What sort of effect they would have on the game, however, was yet to be seen. The importance of such communication with the player community was exemplified by the proliferation of player-made tools that were seeing widening popularity. On July 22nd, 2000... Dot LAN. Eve Maps. Goodness gracious. Yo, BTA coming in, gifting 20 subs. Absolutely gifted 20 subs. BTA, we have to pause everything. BTA, 20 gifted subs coming in. Oh, sevens in chat for BTA. Incredible looking stuff. Wowee, wowee, BTA. God, God bless you. That's incredible. Thank you for that. Oh, some BTA. Thank you for that. Huge stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, if one more person gives bits... We will start a hype train. And as far as that hype train on Twitch goes, the level of that hype train will correspond to the amount of liquid isk I will give away in game. So if there's a level one hype train, I'll give away 100 million isk. If it's level two, we'll give away 200 million isk. If it's level eight, we'll give away 800 million isk. And if it's level 10, I will give away a billion liquid isk on stream right now now of course when the hype train ends so if y'all want to get a hype train coming you know what to do drop the biddies gift some subs check it out let's see what you got over on twitch if you're a youtube enjoyer sit back and enjoy the ride <laughs> bta thank you for the gift god bless you, my friend thank you very much 2008 a player going by the name Wolari created a post on the official eve forums in which he announced the release of a map of eve online named dot lamb and eve was never the same in a good way Wow. Just wow. Quote, In the last weeks, I created a system to arrange and generate region maps for EVE. After some hard work on the backend and positioning the systems, I can finally announce a new type of EVE regions maps. The maps are focused to be clean and easy readable with the most important informations for fleet roaming and planning. They contain daily sovereignty and outpost informations. Oof, is there ads? Damn. Damn. For your favorite 0.0 space. Also, occupancy informations for the new factional warfare are included. End quote. 
What's more, this tool would be off. I love it, PTA. <laughs> Fantastic. That's worthy. Rushlock. Go follow Rushlock chat. There's so many good content creators inside the Eve category. It's one of the reasons why I'm glad, I'm proud, I'm proud to be an EVE partner. You know what I'm saying? Is the, the Dodge Kappa meta is definitely here. Type Dodge in chat to increase the chance you get gifted a sub. It's, it is. For free. It's a thing. To any EVE player who wanted to use it, hosted on its own website. Important. Look how it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's just the same site now. This is one of the most used EVE sites. This is one of the most used websites in all of EVE. It's crazy. Kick does not have ads yet. Yet they they can't run ads because the site is not ad friendly. Uh, as a marketer, I can I can tell you if you see ads there, it's not like they didn't buy them. Like they run them because they can, and not because people are buying ads. I have so much to say about that, but let's keep watching the video. This map wasn't updated manually. Rather, it pulled information from Eve Online's backend servers in order to update it, meaning that they would update in real time, and Dotland's maps would quickly become the standard. And we ladies and gentlemen. I'll start my own hype train right now. Ghosty, you typed dodge in chat. That means you get gifted a sub. We're not going to do that every time, chat, but there's a hype train going. It's level one hype train. The level of hype train is going to correspond to the amount of liquid isk I will give away in game to a lucky member. Okay. So if you want to increase this, it's right now it's level four. So if you want to increase it, if you got biddies, if you got Twitch primes, Check for Twitch Primes. Check for Twitch Primes. It will literally raise the amount of stuff you've got coming in. Micromat coming in with the 500 biddies. God bless you. We've got Plural coming out, gifting subs. God bless you, Plural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gift the subs, increase the hype train, get it going, and you'll get Liquid Isk. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it going. Kaldari Pro, uh, Pony Club, thank you for gifting sub to Texas DJ. Yeah, yeah, gifting the sub. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. When players wanted to share maps of EVE Online with one another, rather than using the in-game map, the Queen clear maps on Dotland would almost always be used. We're never getting through this video. BTA gifting a thousand subs. <laughs> a thousand bits, God. <laughs> BTA's like, I did what? <laughs> like, BTA, thank you for the thousand biddies. God bless you. God bless you. The hype train continues. Level four completed, ladies and gentlemen, up to level five. Incredible. That means 500 million isk. A thousand subs. That would, that would like change my life. Do not, do not do that. Seriously, chat, if you just check for Twitch Primes, you can help the hype train, check for Twitch Primes. That's all you got to do. All you got to do, continue there. So, Hala, thanks for the follow. And Hala coming in, absolutely. Twitch Primed out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible stuff, incredible stuff. So, Thorne, you're doing great. Don't worry about it. You're most welcome. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, guys. Even the YouTube and the kick viewers are going to benefit from this because the hype train on Twitch will unlock an in-game giveaway. Currently, it's at level four. We got four minutes left. Check for Twitch Primes. If you've got a little bit of biddies, drop it down, and then we will continue forward. Ride check coming in. Absolutely gifting five subs. Doing it, Ride check Doing the most. Well done, Ride check Let's get some claps and chat for all the supporters today. Incredible stuff. The hype train continues incredible stuff yeah 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 well done everybody if you're on youtube glenn or other platforms the links will be in the description of the stream for you god bless come on down absolutely amazing who some anonymous absolute chad has gifted 20 subs ladies and gentlemen i need a massive 07 enchant to the anonymous gifter of 20 subs wow 20 subs 20 subs coming in absolutely massive a huge legend in the chat oh seventh 20 gifted subs the hype train is continued to go forward we're about to beat our last record what are we at level eight hype train the maximum level is let me read this all-time record is level 10, and we're at level 8 hype train right now. 38% coming in. Bellum, you subscribed with a Twitch Prime. Bellum, God bless you with a Twitch Prime coming in. A Twitch Prime out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how you can help. If you've got 100 biddies, 
If you've got a Twitch Prime available, drop it now. You're literally going to unlock the community's availability to get us there to this massive stuff. Bellum, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Nino coming in with the follow. Glenn of the follow on Twitch. We also have Elam coming in with the follow on Twitch. Everybody's showing up. Rycheck, thanks for the gifted subs. Anonymous, God bless you, with the 20 gifted subs. Everybody's showing up today. Amazing. Tim showing up, becoming a member on YouTube. Absolute YouTube membership. God bless you, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, you get access to ad-free live streams. All of our YouTube members get ad-free live streams. Okay. Just, you know, you can go over to our YouTube channel, Tim. Let me show you. Come on down. Check us out. Tim, all these are for you. All these, all of our streams ad free. Get to vibe. And I know when you're on the road, when you want the podcast style going on, absolutely showing up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dodge Kappa meta is live. You can type uh, Rush Locks meta grows. Okay. You can type Dodge in chat to increase the chance you get gifted a sub. And this will help you to dodge all of the goodies. I'm not mute, Texas. God bless you. So thank you for that. I think we also had another new patron coming in. Did I see that? Oh, dear Lord, I'm refreshing Streamlabs. That's the only way that this works. Streamlabs absolutely drunk right now. Continuing. Micro Matt, I don't know if I called you out. Thank you for the 500 biddies. God bless you. So, no, it literally, Streamlabs drunk. Absolutely doing it. Hockey, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Incredible stuff. It, it could be, Chant, that you get gifted a sub if you type dodged in Chant. We have some generous community members here. The hype train, two and a half minutes. 40% into the hype train. If we stay at this level... We will give away, what are we at right now? We're at level eight, we're at level seven. So if we stay at level seven, we're going to have 700 million isk being given away. If we get to level eight, 800 million isk will be given away. Check for Twitch Primes. And if you got a hundred biddies, drop them. Let's see it, come on down. Okay, thank you very much for that. Amazing stuff. Let's keep this going. Let's keep us going. We're literally never going to get through this reaction. As you contribute, I will continue to uh, show up for the community. God bless. Thank you for the generous gifter so far. Let's finish the video. If you want to support, now's the time. You get in-game items. Thank you kindly. This was far from the only tool developed by players to help others play the game. In 2006, a group of resourceful coders had released a tool which they named Evemon, which acted as a way to manage a character and plan their ever-important skills, which restricted what a character could do and what sort of innate bonuses they wielded. Like Dotlan, Evemon pulled information from the backend servers of EVE Online, allowing players to see as- I was gonna say, I remember this, but it's not a thing, is it? Eve Tear. It's not a thing anymore, is it? We got XR coming in as a member on YouTube. God bless you, XR. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ad-free VODs, my friend. YouTube members, get ad-free VODs. Enjoy it. Absolutely killing it. Thank you for that. Enjoy it, Eve. Or uh, XR Kun. I say your name wrongly because I am not that smart. Thank you for that of their characters, such as their skills, their stats, their total skill points accrued, and their isk balance, all without having to open the game. These sorts of tools helped further erode the feeling of separation between the game and real life, since the game world could be reflected in places other than the game window. Rather than fight these tools, CCP supported their use and would sometimes even showcase them on their website. It was around this time as well that the listless and much poorer pirates in low security space would be given a new purpose. On June 10, 2008, CCP released the expansion Imperian Age. Among the other changes, the one that attracted the most attention was the introduction of a new opportunity for players called Factional Warfare. After signing up to fight for one of the four in-game non-player empires that ruled over high security empire space, they would be given objectives in low security space to capture- Oh my god, look at this UI. So that's when they introduced faction warfare. Oh my goodness. That's just incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, we've officially hit level eight hype train. Level eight hype train. Incredible support today. Coming up from BTA, absolutely gifting more subs. Doing it, BTA, you've gifted 19 subs and have used a thousand biddies. You're a current hype train conductor. God bless you. Thank you very much. Incredible. Four minutes remain on this hype train. And if we get to level nine, we're gonna give away 900 million liquid isk in game. Okay, it's gonna be ridiculous. If you get me to level 10, we're going to give away a billion isk in game. Our record is level 10. If you wanna support, 
we are ready to support you right back, ladies and gentlemen. BTA absolutely pushing the record. God bless you, BTA. This is not a golden hype train, I don't think. Let me let me let me see it. I no, it is not. I don't see anything about that, but we're about to beat our last record. God bless you, BTA. Thank you for your support today. Whew. Well done, y'all, today. Well done. Absolutely incredible. Hype train. Everything is absolutely breaking. My y'all are doing so many events. My stream labs is absolutely broken right now. So BTA gifting even more subs. God bless you. Thank you for gifting more subs. Lava coming in on Twitch with the follow. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you very much. I had to refresh my stream. There it is. Incredible. Sure. In the name of the empire that they had chosen. But importantly, they would not only be fighting against NPCs. They would also engage other players who had sworn allegiance to a different enemy faction. I'm really glad that they updated this with Havoc because Faction Warfare was one of those systems that's really awesome. It's really, really cool. But it just didn't have, it wasn't so fleshed out. The game, it needed the update that Havoc brought. And now, because of Havoc, it's absolutely one of the best things in the game is Faction Warfare. Loyalty point generation, fleeting up with buddies, popping in. It, like, lets you practice PvP before you go into Null as well. You know, th those kind of things. I love the new Faction Warfare systems. Absolutely amazing stuff showing up, so... In this way, players in Empire Space could fight with other players in a structured, yet accessible fashion. While Factional Warfare itself held little interest for the pirate corporations in low- Oh my god, dude. BTA. BTA! Ladies and gentlemen, everything stops. BTA has gifted 33 subs to the community. Oh my God, the hype train broke. <laughs> Everything's broken. We smashed our hype train record. Absolutely slaying it completely. BTA gifted 33 subs over on Twitch to the community. Holy goodness, BTA. Are you going fan fest? First round's on me, bro. Okay. Woo. Woo, BTA showing up. I literally can't see the hype train level. It broke in chat. I'm refreshing the window. BTA, God bless you. I, when it loads, we'll see our all-time record has been shattered, ladies and gentlemen. Give me your best clap and dance emojis in the chat for BTA. 07 SU, my friends. Incredible stuff. Level 11. 1.1 billion isk in liquid isk being given away right now. Just incredible. Just incredible. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an outro right now for this video. And then like we're going to end it so that we can keep this going because I don't think this hype stream is going to be stopping because y'all are just going to keep continuing. So we're going to have more. Uh, we're going to have more down the rabbit hole stuff coming in. I have to do this right. Let me, like, get this right, okay? I have to outro it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have... Here it is, here it is. You guys get the behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have more Down the Rabbit Hole reacts in this playlist right here. We had to cut this one short because the level of support on the live stream hit massive record highs. So if you want to check out our Twitch stream, that's in the description. Sub for more. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. I had to outro it. I literally can't keep doing... It's going to be bad experience for the YouTube videos, so we're actually going to close this we close it thank you plural thank you it's just incredible stuff glenn showing up twitch primed out of your mind baby inferno showing up tier one out of your mind for seven months we also got gov coming in with the follow on twitch welcome in bta 33 subs gifted holy crap an all new hype train record level 11 jjs coming in absolutely killing it just to be clear y'all just to be clear, because of the support that has been done today, we are going to be giving away 1.1 billion ISK in liquid ISK if this hype train continues. We're currently at level 11, okay? If we get to level 12, it'll be 1.2 billion, level 13, 1.3 billion, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna keep supporting y'all as yo support me. Incredible stuff, so you know what I'm saying? Inferno, not yet. We have a PI kit from Inferno that we're going to be giving away during the uh, uh, subathon, Inferno. We have a bunch of goodies coming out. Incredible stuff. Inc wow. 
BTA. God bless you. Are you coming out to freaking FanFest, bro? Because I'm serious. Round on me. That's incredible stuff, BTA. God bless you. We got Cynical coming in on Twitch. Welcome, welcome with the follows, ladies and gentlemen. Let me head back to my market hub here. So I can like, uh, so I can make sure I get you the isk that you have deserved, ladies and gentlemen. Huge 07s today. No more uh, down the rabbit hole. We actually are stopping it because of the sheer amount of support showing up. Just amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the train rolling as you want. If if y'all are looking at your Twitch primes and your Twitch primes are good, if you're looking at your biddy coffers and there's not any more biddies in there, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't think you have to keep supporting. If you want to. We will support you right back. But if you don't want to do any more, if you just want to sit back and chill, that's fine. You know, don't don't worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. All good, no problems whatsoever. We're gonna head back to one of our public bases and go from there. Just amazing. We got a contract assigned to me as well. Show this. Show this. Ooh, is this Inferno? Inferno, God bless you. A Megathron Death Glow skin. This is going right into the giveaway folder. Inferno, huge. <sighs> Bro, this is one of the better Death Glow skins. See, I don't love the Death Glow skin. I think that this skin is not good on a, on a lot of ships. The Megathron, it looks incredible, baby. Ugh. Can we just get a? Blech. Can we just get a, like a Wage War black? I mean, y'all liking that new Wage War song? You know I am. Ladies and gentlemen, level eleven hype train has been completed. We reached level, it says we reached level 10 hype train emoji, level 11, 27% in our currently strongest hype train ever. God bless you to all the supporters. Thank you very much. This was huge. Very big deal. BTA. I need some 07s in chat right now for all supporters. Yes to BTA. Thank you for being our biggest sub gifter. But to all supporters, you get my sincere 07. Your support helps me do more dope stuff in EVE Universe like our subathon coming up this Saturday. All goodies. Thank you very much to everybody that supported today. Even if you gave 100 biddies or a Twitch Prime sub all the way to BTA doing 30 something subs at once. Huge. Absolutely massive. Thank you for that, BTA. God bless. We've got AO coming in on with the follow on Twitch and W86 as well with the follow. Thank you very much. Cynical. Absolutely Twitch primed out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible stuff. Thank you all very much for the support tonight. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So that means I owe you all ask. We ended at a level 10 hype, a level 11, excuse me, hype, hype train. So my wallet is currently sitting at 2.2 billion. That means... One of you is going to be getting 1.1 billion isk right now, tonight. Okay, so mm -hmm. so there it is, BTA. Era Warwick. That's I, isn't that Russia's character? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for that, and BTA. God bless you. That's like half a Kronos. It is, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to win 1.1 million isk, sorry, billion with a B, billion with a B. Here's how to do it. You must be following on Twitch or subbed on YouTube. My bot will know, and you'll be disqualified. We're going to change someone's Eve life forever tonight, and it's all because of your support today, ladies and gentlemen. The second thing you have to do is you got to be in our Discord, in the giveaway chat. If you're on any platform, check the description. We're going to give you some time to get in. We're going to—I know this is going to be a big one. We're going to have a lot of people joining the, the uh, stuff. Come on down. You got to be in the giveaway chat. Okay, we're going to tell you the Nino showing up saying it's going to be too billionesque. Nino, are you giving 900 million isk to the community? And I'm going to now make it a 2 billion isk giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, Nino is pledging another 900 million isk to the giveaway. 2 billion isk showing up for the stuff. And we're not even at our subathon. <laughs> it's amazing. What a great night tonight it is. Wow. I got the isk. Let's see it. Let's see it. Did Nino do it? Did Nino do it? You can tell I was looking at LP earlier. Transactions. Here it is, 900 million -esk. incredible stuff. Nino doing it. The giveaway is now at 2 billion -esk, ladies and gentlemen. Ayo hey, coming in on Twitch. Which, which primed out of your mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. We got Big Mendo, Notion, and Nando Jr. on Twitch with the follows. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 8.55 p.m. 
at the top of the hour in five minutes, we are going to do this giveaway. We're going to have a little bit of time dilation, okay? Because you have to be in the Discord to enter in. And all the new people coming in, you're going to have like an anti-troll thing that you're going to hit on Discord. We have a thing to stop people from hate raiding the uh, server, okay? So join on Discord, join sooner than later, because if you can't type in the chat, you won't be able to enter in. So come on down while you're doing this, while we're waiting, five minutes, chat. Check the Nodi Rolls channel. We do not spam you in this Discord. If you want to cater your ping experience, this is the place to do it. If you want to join our Discord only, for these kind of giveaways during stream, click the purple heart. If you want no pings, never ever get pinged, click none of these. We make it so that you don't have to worry about getting spammed if you don't want to. You know, if you want to see when every one of our YouTube videos goes up, click the red heart. If you want to see when our like Instagrams, our, uh, in you know, our, our tweets go out, that's the green one, that's the weak one, whatever. If you want all the notifications, all of them, click the black heart. And the uh, thumbs up is people flexing they have Discord Nitro. Okay. <laughs> so uh, cater your ping experience in the notification rolls chat. We got a lot of new people showing up in the Discord today. We have officially blown past 2,000 members in the Discord. So show up, cater your ping experience. Zek Roth says, Emma entered. We're going to start the giveaway at the top of the hour. Zek Roth, three minutes, two billion isk on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, two billion isk. So I sent you a container with 10 ships for the freaking event. Thank you, Inferno. Listen, I'll, I'll give that away at the subathon on Saturday, for sure. Yes, we're going to do that. So that's got Dakote coming in with a follow on Twitch. Welcome in. Thank you very much for that. So <clears throat> message a mod and they can give Lore's IGN. My, my in-game name is Loremurth Sunstrider. You can also see it. Rabun did you give me another billion isk? Rabun, I am, it's, God bless you. I can't even say my freaking. you just saw it. Rabun Bun showing up. The giveaway is now at one billion more. Three billion isk. Ladies and gentlemen, hit my mans with the Loru W in the giveaway chat right now. Incredible stuff. Massive. Nino, Rabun, all the gifters today. Everybody that was gifting the littlest bitty to the massive gifts coming in from BTA on the sub gifts. This is incredible. Tonight, three billion isk giveaway going down. Funded by, done by. Oh my God. I'm going to give away four billion isk tonight. Inferno gave another billion isk away. It's up to four billion isk, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Four billion isk. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about. Generosity is at the core of this community. We have three core tenants at the Loru brand, ladies and gentlemen. Community, not just as a word, but as a tenant. Generosity, which you're all exemplifying right now. And finally, wellness. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to change EVE Online lives with a 4 billion isk giveaway. It's 4 billion isk, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? Four billion isk coming to one of you tonight. And it's because of your generosity today, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, ah. We bring the energy to the EVE Online category, ladies and gentlemen, but you, you're bringing the generosity tonight. Goodness great. Give me this mic. Inferno 07s to you, my friend. 07s, Rabban, 07s, Nino, 07s to the people showing up for this community. Wow. Four billion isk coming in for this stuff. Incredible. So, mm. so you know the content is fire when the wife asks, why aren't you subbed to the Patreon to get those sweet mugs? Andrew, God bless you. Incredible deets. Thanks for the Twitch Prime out of your mind for three months. Yeah, 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 yeah. A new contract says Inferno. Look at this support, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, ooh, Inferno. Showing up with uh, some goodies here. Let me uh, let me uh, do this really really fast. Gives us a Rodiva blueprint. I will accept this Inferno. God God bless you. That's a huge, Chad. That's a huge 
Contract. Okay. Massive stuff. Inferno, I will accept this. Thank you for that. That's going to be given away on our subathon for sure. God bless you, Inferno. Incredible. Did you send more, dude? Did y'all send me more ISK? Listen, the giveaway is about to start. So if you're going to send ISK for the giveaway, this is it. Lock it in right now. And I think, Andrew, did you say that you are you went to the Patreon too? Andrew's showing up with a tier two patron, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you, Andrew's wife, I guess. <laughs> That's incredible. So the support today has been nuts. Thank you very much, Andrew. You ready for your mug, dude? The T2 patrons get mugs. Oh, never sold. And if you bring your mug to FanFest, I'll sign it. Andrew, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, 4 billion-esque. Locked in. Thank you to Inferno, to Nino, and to Rabun for the generous donations. The final call is right now. You must be following on Twitch or subbed on YouTube. Choose your favorite. Doesn't matter which one. The bot will know. Get into Discord in the giveaway chant. You're going to type the word that I type right now. It's happening right now. Okay. Happening right now. Here's how you're going to do it. One time, type the word one time, case sensitive. Don't get disqualified from 4 billion esque because you spammed the chat. One time, case sensitive. Are you saying there's more isk being sent to me, Warling? Check my isk again. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. Warling gave another bit of isk. Five billion isk, ladies and gentlemen. Warling gives another billion isk. It's up to five billion isk. That's just, that's it. Warling, God bless you. Oh, seven C, my friend. Now look, chat, we literally, the auto mod alert is going off because a, a bunch of you are doing this. Increased activity from normal members. No action needed. So many of you joined the server that the auto mod feature thought we were getting hate raided. It's not a hate raid. It's people trying to get their EVE Online uh, lives changed forever. Five billion isk showing up. Warling, God bless you. Thank you for that. Let's do it. There's one more contract, and then we have to get through this. Ooh, Inferno. Inferno gave us a Master at Arms Cerebral. God bless you, Inferno. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a normal Thursday for us. We're not even doing the absolute subathon. You think this is hype? Come back Saturday when we have our subathon. Even more good stuff for you. Mace, it's good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following on Twitch or subbed on YouTube, you won't be eligible to win 5 billion esque. 5 billion with a B. We're going to type the word in here. Type it into Discord in the giveaway chat. Type one time, case sensitive. The word is. What should we type, ladies and gentlemen? The word is sanctum. Ladies and gentlemen, the group we call ourselves here, you are now a part of the sanctum. Once you follow us on Twitch, sub on YouTube, when you enjoy this community, you are a part of the sanctum. My name is Loru and I am the host of this, but you all make up the sanctum. And tonight, one member of the Sanctum is going to get five billion isk. Thank you to the sub-gifters. Thank you to the generous in-game donators. Wowie. Wowie. Let's see it. So you can give me items in-game whenever you want to, Nino. Nino, Nino Cuba. My name is uh, Laura Mirth Sunstrider. You can give me items whenever the heck you want. So, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back, Eve Terry. Welcome back. So Mobley timed himself out. God, God bless you, Mobley. Go to the timeout, Mobley. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mobley. Time yourself out. So Inferno, we're not going to ask you. We're not going to ask you. Ooh, ooh, that's that's right, BTA. That's right, BTA. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, when I type sold, the giveaway is done. Going once, going twice, and we're going to give people a little bit of time. I know sometimes other, like YouTube's a little bit behind, okay? When I type sold, it's done. Type one time, case sensitive, follow on Twitch or sub on YouTube. That's it. Thank you very much for the support tonight, chat. Literally made my week, actually. I'm not going to get mushy, chat. I'm not going to get mushy. Even more. Warling gave us a full paladin. Warling, we're going to give away a paladin during our subathon. God bless you. 
J Iron giving us a Kizreel and an M and an M and M and I. We're gonna give it away on the subathon, baby. Billions of us coming at the subathon as well. J Iron and Warling giving us even more stuff. God bless you, J Iron and Warling. God bless you. God bless you. Incredible stuff. I'm not gonna get mushy chat. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna give it all away. You give it to me, I'm gonna give it back to the community. We're gonna change EVE Online lives, chat. That's what we're here to do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, thank you very much. So, mm, it's a Loru love raid. That's right, that sounds like something else. The point is, thank you very much to Jay and to Warling for the in-game, out-of-game. Oh my gosh, all the, all the good stuff. Jay, how's that uh, hoodie feeling? Is it comf as hell, bro? Peepo comfy all over the place. Here we go, chat. Going once. Going twice. Five billion isk locked in. Anybody that types after the sold is not entered in. That's it. That's it. That's it. The bot is going to choose a winner. Five billion isk on the line. Oh, seven to you, Alexi. We're doing a five billion isk giveaway started by a community hype train unlocked by even more community interaction engagement. Amazing. So wife loves the one you sent. She's been wearing it all over. That makes me very happy. We're like, we don't have a public merch store chant. We only have merch gotten by the subathons right now. Our next subathon is Saturday. This coming Saturday in two days. So show up and you might get a hoodie. <laughs> Let's see it. Ladies and gentlemen. Five billion isk on the line. Who's going to win it? Five billion isk showing up. Let's see. The bots choosing. I, you know, nobody got DQ'd. Great job. Nobody got DQ'd by like, you know, not following or whatever the heck. Good looking stuff. Okay. There's a lot of people. It's taking a sec. It's taking a sec. You know. We have our winner. Five billion isk showing up. And the winner is an avid stream watcher. Somebody that's been around from the beginning, really. The winner of five billion isk is Ziffalo 5 billion is coming right to you, baby. You're an avid stream watcher. Oh, 07's reacting, coming down. Incredible stuff. Huge congrats to Ziffalo. Good job, Ziffalo. OMG is right. OMG is right, buddy. Ziffalo, there's only one fitting. Not 50 million, not 500 million, 5 billion isk. I can't spell chat. The community hype train changed Ziffalo's Eve life forever. Chant 5 billion isk. 07's too. Wow. Incredible stuff. Ziffalo, God bless. More contracts coming in. J Iron. That is a whole panther, dude. J Iron. That's a that's a freaking BPC for a Stratios. Is that a Chimera, dude? Is that a Chimera, dude? It's researched! J Jay Iron, I can't even, I can't yell anymore. Jay, God bless you for this. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're giving away a panther in our subathon on Saturday in two days. So, oh, you know, I like me some Ashimus, ladies and gentlemen. We're giving away an Ashimu on stream on Saturday. Look at this ship. One of the best looking ships in all of Eve, the Ashimu. Okay, look at this. 
Look at this ship, chat. Look at it. Look at this ship. You fly this ship. You're the best damn dressed person at the party. This is the equivalent of wearing a suit when everybody else is in sweatpants. It looks incredible. Don't get me started on the on the particles, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. The hex skin. Just, just a nudie boy. Absolutely. And we're going to give it away on Saturday. Inferno, Jay, God bless you. Well done. Well done, y'all. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. We're giving all this away. Paladin, Kizreel, MNI, all these things getting given away on our stream on Saturday. Wow. I do love the Smash Moo. <laughs> That's incredible stuff. Y'all, here's what we're going to do right now. Inferno gave us a PI gift. Inferno gave us a PI gift, okay? Check this out. He stocked out a whole crate full of PI goodies. So let's give this away right now, okay? Let's keep the giveaways going. One more giveaway. So I would love... That was not a Moros Navy issue. If I got a Moros Navy issue, I'm keeping it so that I can use it on stream. That's what that is. Oh, God. G dude, Warling, this is the best-looking Proteus skin. There's not a lot. This is the best-looking Proteus skin. Ugh. And we're going to give it away on Saturday. I already have it. God bless you, Warling. We're going to give it away. We're going to... If someone gives me a Moros Navy issue, I'm literally keeping it so I can roam with it on stream one day. Mark my words. This is it, Warling. God bless you. Beautiful. Beautiful skin. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do a PI giveaway. Uh, Inferno gave us every single skill book and some uh, 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 command centers to be able to get it done. A cotton candy shrimp. It is. It is. Yeah, I love it. Rabun, thank you very much. Kaz Mendoza, absolutely. Twitch primed out of your mind for four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Napoleon with the follow on Twitch. Casey coming with the, with the follow on Twitch. Dietz. Twitch primed out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. And Dakot with the follow. Welcome in. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. It is every single command center. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, PI giveaway. You can follow our guide in YouTube. The word is, wow, one time case sensitive in our Discord. Get your good stuff in this giveaway chance. If you're not following on Discord or on YouTube, you won't be able to win the stuff that uh, uh, Inferno has given us. Thank you very much, Inferno, for that. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do love me some cotton candy shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, if you missed our PI video, ladies and gentlemen, we break down all the things you can do with PI. You can start today. It's this one right here. And absolutely, we make it easy for you. I know that PI is like this scary thing. In high sec, I'm making 400 million a month. In high sec. And we're not really playing it that much. We, we set it up. It's good to go. That's how PI goes. Yeah, gentlemen. I am floored by the support tonight, champ. Mm. Amazing. God bless y'all. Just an incredible day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give away a couple more things, and then uh, we'll see about the rest of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible. So tell me quietly how you made $2 billion earlier. Uh, Laravi, I can tell you right now, my main uh, moneymaker right now is I get loyalty points from Faction Warfare or from Level 4 missions, and I go, I craft T1 ammo, and I turn that T1 ammo into faction ammo with the loyalty points. With the excess loyalty points, I also go buy plus five implants and I sell those. Each one will give me a profit of like 40 million isk per plus five. And the tech one ammo, I get, I craft them myself. So I have zero um, uh, cost. It's just pure profit. So it's yeah, it's just great. So yeah, I will, Alexi. Especially after the uh, video that we made today. The video we made today, the uh, skill extractor video where we go into in, in depth how to use the skill extractors that are on sale right now on the Marquee Dragon store. They're on sale right now. Thank you. We, it became very bluntly apparent. I need to make a market trading guide because people said it and forget it, Puck. Said it and forget it. Going once on these giveaways. Going once. Going twice. Once I type sold, that is going to be it. Once I type sold, that's going to be it. For sure, Richard. Yeah, yeah. So... There is something waiting for you? Oh, tell me. Check my contracts. Is there another thing waiting for me, Inferno? Tell me more about the contracts that are waiting for me right now. Ooh. Mm, 
That's a good skin. Now, Inferno, we were just talking about the skin. Is this for me to keep or is this for me to give away? I accept whatever you say, Inferno. If you want me to give it away, I will. But if you want me to keep it so I can use it, when we make an Ashamu video, I will wear this and you will know. Memories made. Keep it. Ladies and gentlemen, when we make an, an absolute Ashamu quality video, it's going to be in style. Thanks to Inferno. God bless you. This, it really is the best skin I, I've ever seen. God bless you, Inferno. Thank you for that. It's huge. Uh, <clears throat> exactly. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that. I'm getting my PI skills in order as we speak. Very excited. Greg, once you get it done, great. It takes like two weeks of skill training to get set up. Maybe like 15 days, you know? So, hmm. need something for him. That's all he's... With all that's gone on tonight. No, I don't need something for me, but I will... That's funny, Whirling. I like that. Typically, what I say when someone gives me like a like a skin is like, is this for me or is it for the community? Because if someone gives me a paladin, I'm not keeping that. I'm going to give that away. But if someone gives me a skin, if I make a guide for that uh, ship, I can wear that skin. And then that person will remember because we're all about making memories here. Our tagline, don't make content. We make memories. That's how we do it. All right, here we go. Going once. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Let's see who gets the PI starter pack. Let's do a couple more giveaways here to make sure that other people can get in on the love. We got a lot of new people here today, and I want y'all to win some things. Okay, I want y'all to win some things. Okay. Incredible stuff, Shant. What a what a what a day today. Just a great day for everything. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner of the PI starter pack. The winner is Big Om. Big Om. Good to see a brand new member of the Discord. Brand new. Absolutely brand new to the community. Welcome in. Big OM. I need your in-game name. You can DM it to me on Discord. I will send it to you uh, whenever I get it. I'll make sure you get it. If you ever are waiting on a giveaway, ladies and gentlemen, you can always check the giveaway status column. We also put our video giveaways up there as well. Okay, not sus at all, Ravi. Not, not sus at all. So, you know, what did you do, Warling? You said, whoops, don't do this to me. GZ to the mans getting the goodies. What are y'all uh, whoopsing me? Whoopsing me now, so... The Moros Navy issue. When we take this out, Whirling. When we roam with this. How much is this skin? I'm going to have to buy this skin, Shant. Mm. The, the smoldering potato. Absolutely the hottest potato. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, Rabun, you read my mind. Uh-huh. On the next Keep Me Alive stream, ya boy gonna be in a hot potato! <sighs> Warling, holy crap, dude. God bless ya. Uh, it's not clear I'm keeping that one, Chad. <laughs> so, mm, I'll take more BPOs. Inferno, God bless you. Thank you. Yes, we research these. We keep it moving. God bless you, Inferno. Thank you. Woo. Is it hot in here or is it just y'all? You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious, Chad. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a massive 07 for all the people, you know, giving us stuff today. Wow. Wow. God bless you. So where is the command center on the Moros? Like, where is the command deck? We had a whole YouTube short on this. We had a whole, I, I think it's right here. I think it's at the tippity top of this. You know, it could be that it's like here-ish, right? Like this is a window, you know? Uh, but I don't think it's... Some people said it was, like, down here. No, it's not going to be, like, below the engines. That's, like, where the reactor is. That's, like, my my, like, my head cannon. I think it's up here. Morling. Holy crap, dude. I literally can't believe this. I want to give y'all a preview since uh, Warling has opened up the floodgates here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Typed it wrong. 
Would you look at that? <clears throat> Would you look at that? That's all you get. That's the only preview you get. You'll see, chat. We're training into many things. God bless. <sighs> Warling, you're going to have to name that Moros Navy whenever we go roaming with it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more. Let's see. Big Om, when you, when you give me your in-game name, we're going to do it. We're going to send you good stuff. One more. What should we give away with this chant? Let's see. Let's see what's in the giveaway folder. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. View contents. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be like 300 million-esque. Pretty sure this is going to be like 300 million-esque. We got some good-looking skins in there. Synth boosters. The Stratios Scope Synd Syndication skin is in there. Mm. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the last giveaway of the night. And the word is... What should the word be, Jim? I, there's really only one word that I can say. And it's, it's a phrase. And that's thank you. Type thank you into Discord to get the goodies. We are going to give you hundreds of millions of... Is We're going to name it Potatoes. Samwise. That's a good name for a Moros Navy issue. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You know, so... Listen, Inferno, that's incredible. The spirit skin is some of my favorite skins. Ah, Inferno, God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Huge Inferno. It looks really good. I love the like red eyes. This is like a, this is going to get named something that has to do with like a frog, like Kermit or something like that. Inferno, holy crap, dude. Wowzer. God freaking bless you. We're doing a giveaway. If you're just joining us now, we're doing a giveaway for hundreds of millions of isk. We've given away five billion isk tonight. Whew. What a journey tonight has been. What a journey. So, mm. how about we add 250 plex to that last giveaway? Ooh. Nino, God bless you. I accept and we'll do it, Nino. We'll do it. 250 plex being given to the person show it, naming it Big Chunga. So it shall be Inferno. So it shall be. We'll have to do like a poll. That was the Moros in Inferno. Warling gave us the Moros Navy. So when we fly the... God bless you, Nino. Thank you. Oh, chat. Oh, sevens to Inferno and Nino in chat for giving us... Nino just gave us more Plex to add to the winner of this giveaway. God bless you. So the winner of this giveaway is not just getting this, but it's also getting 250 Plex, dude. Another billions of isk getting given away on this stream, chat. I can't handle this, chat. Y'all generosity is crazy today. Y'all doing it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This community killing the game. I love to see it. I love to see it. Mmm. Changing Eve lives one giveaway at a time. <laughs> ah, ah, just incredible. So, Inferno, I can tell you, thank you for this. I don't know what this is. I haven't looked into capital construction, which is what I think this is. I accept. What is it? I'll literally use it when we do a capital construction uh, um, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's capital construction stuff. So, Warling. Is this to be added to the giveaway, Warling? Is this to be added to the giveaway? That's 500 Plex. Tell me what you want to do with the uh, uh, Plex, Warling. Tell me about it, please. Something, something, wormholes. Mmm. Plural, one day. So, that's right, Kevin. That's right. So, your name is this. Big O, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Big O, I got you. I'm going to add you into the notes section. There you go. So, my man's big has given me the stuff. Here it is. Here it is. Big Om, that's actually you. Confirm, confirm. Here we go. Mm, it looks like that's not you, dude. It looks like that's not you. Is it Big O with an O, maybe? No, is it Big O with a zero? Did you type in your own name wrong, my friend? It says that's not you, my friend. I don't know what to say about that. So Big, look, it literally says that's not you. So just DM me and we'll get you your stuff. Don't you worry, Big O. Don't you worry. Okay. We're going to get you your stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, going once on this final giveaway of the night. Goodness gracious. Warling, am I giving this Plex to people? Am I making it 500 Plex? I, I, I might have missed your chat, Warling. Tell me what I'm doing with this another 250 Plex, Warling. God bless you. Just amazing. You know, thank you for that, Warling. Holy crap, dude. It's ridiculous. So add it on. 500 plex. 
Wow. Wow, dude. Here we go. Going once. Going twice. I almost typed in the man's name again. And it's sold. The bot's going to choose. Five. 100 plex thanks to your generosity ladies and gentlemen and a couple hundred million including eve partner skins some stuff to sell some other skins i've just i got a bunch of random stuff for you i i can't get over that we have a moros navy issue thank you whirling big deal dude that gives me a lot of ideas a lot of ideas oh sevens to you whirling god bless you whirling if you're at fan fest I'm telling you, if there's a big supporter that is going to FanFest, I will buy you a drink. <laughs> That's the least I can do. I'll get you a nice shot of tequila. What the heck do you know what I'm saying? So, so what's up there? Anima Zero, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. So, ooh, no worries, Anima. You're doing great. It's good to see you. Welcome to the community. You're most welcome here, my friend. All good, all good. Next FanFest is spring 2025. Okay, spring 2025. Okay. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner of the giveaway. We have our winner of the giveaway, y'all. Okay. And the winner is a patron. Now, being a patron does not increase your chances. It's actually illegal. I, I No Twitch subs, no. You don't get extra chances if you're a sub, a member, or a patron. That's not how it works. It's literally uh, illegal, and I can't do that. But I am happy when the patrons win. And the winner is Blue Johnny! Come on in, Blue Johnny. You get 500 plex and hundreds of millions of isk. Congratulations. DM me your in-game name on Discord, and I will give you your goodies. Please and thank you, a fellow Rushlock and Vinegar Duche enjoyer. You deserve that as a quality content enjoyer. Congratulations. Congratulations. That capital item is a player-owned customs office that you can launch on any planet that doesn't have one like wormhole space interesting for i'm gonna have to look that up thank you for that thank you for that so let me uh, let me uh close discord for just a second so i got you big om coming in helping me with stuff yes big om i big om i got you my friend this is exciting times all no stress big om no no stress nobody nobody loses their giveaway if they're not quick on the draw you know what i'm saying big o there it is you get the goodies big o PI starter kit coming right to you. And now for Blue Johnny. Blue Johnny, when you DM me your uh, EVE in-game name, we're going to give you the items you are owed, including 500 Plex. Incredible. Should I get a hotel and flights already for FanFest? That's up to you, BTA. Let me talk about FanFest kind of, kind of briefly. <clears throat> I have a ticket for FanFest 2025. The actual like event ticket. I do not have flights and hotel booked yet. It's unclear if I'm going to be able to go because money, just to be direct. And I swear to God, if we get a bunch of subs right now, I will actually refund them because I don't want people to be like, you know, no, no, no. I need to be honest with y'all about this. We're going to have a subathon coming up in the next like month or two that's going to kick off our FanFest fund because we have a couple hundred people coming to stream every time. If everybody gives me five bucks, we get to FanFest easy and I can bring merch to give away at the convention. Mugs, hoodies, stickers. I can show up in a way that other EVE partners don't. Okay? That's what we're going to do. So don't, don't worry about it. We're going to see. We're going to see about it. Okay? So... Thank you. I got you, Anima. No worries. You do the best you can, Anima. No problems whatsoever. Blue Johnny has given me their in-game name. Let's show it. God bless you, Blue Johnny. Let's see it. Okay. Let's see it. Let's give you the goodies. Creating a contract. Blue Johnny. Here it is. Here it is. Let's make sure we get the right one. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. There you go. Blue Johnny. Hundreds of millions of isk coming to you, but we're not done, aren't we? 
we come into our Plex Vault, we bring out the 500 Plex that Warling and Nino gave us, and Blue Johnny, you get 500 Plex just like that. Enjoy it. Our last giveaway of the night. 07 to you, my friend. That's it for the giveaways tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wowzer. What a day. What a day. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. So I can't imagine Iceland is people. It is not. And that's why I want to be honest with you. I want to be direct with you. Like this is what we're trying to do as a, as a brand, but I have to be able to afford my mortgage. <laughs> you know, it's, it's how it is. You know, it's just, it's actually correct, right? Uh, with that comment, even CCP will will like, will like uh, donate to me. I am I would love to have CCP commission me and then I make videos for them. And then as a fee, I like, you know, Pay for my flights and I'll make videos for you. We'll see. Everything's possible. You know what I'm saying? Incredible. So, God bless you. Warling, Nina, we're not done with the stream just yet. Oh, sevens to everybody. Incredible stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday is our subathon. We have a massive announcement that day, including what corp we're joining. It's going to change how we do our content. It's going to be amazing. The generosity today has been fantastic. You can RSVP to this on Discord in the event section. You can scroll all the way to the top. If you're on desktop, you'll see the event section. If you're on your phone, it looks like a little calendar. You can RSVP to that, but it's all day Saturday. We're going to go as long as you want me to that day. The more support, the more giveaways, the more streams coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, we just put out a massive, massive skill extractor guide that coincides with the skill extractor sale happening on the Marquee Dragon store. Chat, Marquee Dragon gave me skill injectors to give away to you. Stand up, gentlemen. Incredible. Amazing man, the beard of the gods this dude has, okay? We're gonna give them away to you on the subathon coming up on Saturday. It's titled Invasion at the Frigate Free For All. We'll see you then. We're streaming tomorrow morning. We're streaming tomorrow morning. And Saturday all day. Incredible day, chat. Don't go anywhere just yet. We're gonna raid out into the Twitch category. Tomorrow, yeah, we're going, hello. Tomorrow, yeah. We're gonna go see Steve tomorrow. If you wanna go see Steve the Dead Titan, we're going to his remains tomorrow on stream as a special edition of the Fryer fleet. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be just amazing. And we're very excited to show y'all Steve. We saw it in Down the Rabbit Hole. We had to go look at it, we had to. So let's see who we're gonna raid out in the Eve category, ladies and gentlemen. We got uh, Steve's Haven. I don't recognize Steve's Haven. So maybe we'll maybe we'll do Steve's Haven. Am I following him? If I, I follow everybody we raid, so I see who we've, who we've raided before, okay? Ghosty we've raided, he might be leaving soon. Rampage Inc. I don't. Uh, oh, this is the news station. That's right. We're not going to read the news, guys. We, we we did one time. They're fine. They're just like they're just news. So, Steve is about to log. Okay, okay. We we won't do him then. Swear T. Uh, this is like a giveaway bot. Something I think. Looks like we're going to raid some smaller people, which is fine to me. Jester Queen. I think we've raided before. No, that's seven days to die live stream. New bro learning to fly. Mister Big Business. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe. We're going to raid a new bro doing it. My man is in something with Hobby Goblins doing it. We're learning to fly level three missions. Yeah, chat. We're going to go raid this guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to raid this dude right here. What you're going to do is you're going to follow this channel and you're going to spam Loru Raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Loru Raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to type this in. BTA, God bless you. Thank you so much for the support tonight, y'all. The support tonight was incredible. We'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow. We're gonna go see Steve, huh? We're gonna get there or die trying. That's what we're gonna do. We'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all very much. Follow the streamer. If you're on other platforms that aren't Twitch, follow me, the link's in the description. Thank you for the support today, chat. The new patrons, the new subs, 30 plus gifted subs today. Incredible hype train. Five billion is given to one person. Mm. Oh, sevens to you, my friend. We'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Make sure you spam.